Alrighty, and we are back with another cozy stream of Final Fantasy IX. When we last left off, we saved the princess from the evil forest. And then we, uh, we unfortunately lost one of our friends, Blanc, to the petrification curse of the evil forest. We later traveled to a neighboring town, uh, Dolly, I believe his name, and there we discovered some very interesting doll-like creatures. They looked similar to Vivi, and it kind of seemed to cause an existential crisis in Vivi. After that, we uh, escaped. We saved Vivi, we escaped, and <laughs> commandeered a, an aircraft, a cargo ship, to go to uh, Lindblom. It was originally going to transport these dolls to Alexandria Castle. However, we commandeered it and <laughs> we we hoofed it all the way over to Lindblom, where now we're gonna actually gonna meet the Regent Sid, uh, as well as Dagger's uncle. But um, yeah, that's where we last left off. I want to go explore the castle and observe the the really beautiful pre-rendered backgrounds, and then we'll do some uh, some more exploration there. Maybe we'll try a few more of the card game battles as well. I'm a little worried about the card game battle because it's a uh, it doesn't seem obvious to me how to play, but we'll, we'll figure it out. But welcome in, everyone. Welcome in, Muirgi and Chi and Richie, Soso, Sephiroth, and J.A. Sora-san, and Evil, and J.A. again. Welcome in, everyone. Hope you're having a fantastic weekend, or start to your weekday. Salut, Sora-san, Yampasu, ça va? How are you? Ah? <laughs> Je vais bien. Merci beaucoup. Arigato buku. Et toi, Sora-san? Comment ça va? Thank you for the hydrate, Sephiroth. I will do that. It's Sunday. We should have a non-cozy stream where everything is uncomfortable and awkward. Uh, well, if your name is Vivi, it may be very uncomfortable and awkward. Yesterday. Yes. Welcome in again, Evil Rafas. And Richie, Dino Dance. I stole an aircraft? Um. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Hello, all of you good pizza pups. Hello, Sephiroth. Welcome in. Mm -hmm. better, better. And Weirgi, hello. Welcome. <laughs> we ate all the friends we made on the way. I, I think the Chocobo are still there. The only one who may have. Taking a nibble would have been pantsed. <laughs> Welcome in, pal. Très très bien. Sugoku kenki. Arigato buku. Ureshi. Totemo ureshi. Sora san. Namim. Vivi dance. I bet you download movies too. Uh. Actually, no, not really. I don't really watch any movies and stuff. Not, not on. Not on the computer, no. <laughs> I, if I go watch a movie, I usually go to the theaters. But I haven't done that in a while. I still haven't seen Barbie. Everyone seems to love Barbie. And a few other films. I haven't seen The Avengers, but I know about the Thanos snap. But I haven't seen it. Yeah. The last movie I saw... <laughs> Was was uh recently I guess was uh the Road to El Dorado yeah. Mm -hmm. Pamst, welcome in. Oh, <laughs> Pamst, yeah you, Pamst. Party, a good pup for Roxas. Alrighty, Barbie was pretty okay. Pretty okay. I I heard it had a lot of um esoteric kind of joking. I like I like when um there's a. Uh, <laughs> some, uh, I guess, some, um, uh, witty humor. But I haven't seen it, so I don't know. Dot dot dot. Al is the rare blue healer Barbie. Blue healer Barbie? They don't have that. They have, they have a sea lion Barbie, did you know that? There's a sea lion, they got a horse, uh, I don't even know if they have dogs, I'm sure they do. 
I don't remember seeing any dogs, but I remember seeing a sea lion and a horse. And a seal, I think they had a seal. I think they had a little baby orca. They probably had a little dolphin too. I didn't really, <laughs> I didn't really play with Barbies. Mm -hmm. The horse is Barbie or the horse is Barbie's horse? Oh, the, <laughs> the horse is Barbie's horse. <laughs> Could have been Ken's horse, I don't know. But uh, it was a, an actual horse, not, not, <laughs> not um, Barbie reimagined as a horse. Thank you for the hydrate. Ken is the horse and Barbie's horse husband. Got it. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. I mean, they have Ken and... I feel like there was another Barbie dude. I don't know if his name was Keith. I don't know. I'm just making things up now. I'm not really familiar with Barbie lore. My familiarity with Barbie lore is about the same familiarity with Tinkerbell lore. Which is not much. The only thing I know about Tinkerbell is that Tinkerbell had a pirate movie, which I tried to watch. You think there's an Alan? Really? <laughs> oh yeah, there was another guy. <laughs> Pardon me. Guess we'll continue. I was enjoying the music a little too much. I was like, yeah, nice music. Final Fantasy 9999999999999. James, welcome in. I don't know if I'm playing that Final Fantasy right now. <laughs> I don't know if we're playing uh, whatever this is. Like, there's no decimals or um, placements to help me. I can't count more than four. But I don't know if we're, I don't know if we're playing that version just yet. Maybe in like a, I don't know, another 200 years maybe. Alan, are you sure you're not about Jurassic Park now? I actually don't know the names of the people in Jurassic Park either. I recognize what they look like, kind of, but I don't know their names. I think they just call them the Doctor or something. And the, uh, there's, there's a dinosaur. The dinosaur's name is Blue. That was a different Jurassic Park, though. Mm. You're so happy that the roll is on Twitch now. It's there. Yes. Dino dance, dino dance. <laughs> Pardon me. <clears throat> I remember the owl dino. Well, it was kind of important. That dinosaur is very important to the movie. No one knows what the other dude's name was. That guy who, like, you know... Like, I don't know, holds his hand up or something and... I don't know. No one knows him. The blue, the dinosaur, come on. She's very clever. Enjoy your lurk, Icha. Thank you for the lurk. Pamst and Roxas, you're both good pups. Yes, you are. Nim? Nim? Heh, <laughs> we did it. Dainty, welcome in. Nim, nim, pita pita. And a good pup. No! I can't give the good pup again. I was trying to give the good pup. <laughs> Roxas, no! <laughs> no fear you were brushing your teeth. That's good. Good on you for brushing your teeth. It seems... Roxas has now taken your place. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What about tax evasion or rigged? Not evading taxes. Not rigged. Morgasta, welcome in. I thought they had a little chessboard up here, but it's just a little um uh, table runner for the flowers. That's actually really nice. Do you see that level of detail? They got um. They got rays of sunlight coming through the window, animating. I've always been a fan of that. Small, subtle animations. I don't know why the beds look very small, but comparing to Zidon's frame, he might just barely fit there. Mm -hmm. 
this is a weird layout for a room, honestly. It is! I thought the same thing too, Pamst. It's weird, but at the same time, because it's so weird, it seems like it'd be fun. If you were a little pup running around through here with your friends, can you imagine, like... <laughs> okay, don't do this, but like, you can imagine, like, jump over this, this, uh, um, fence thing, this bar, onto the bed. Don't do that, but... Or I don't know, it just seems like it'd be fun to run around in. This seems like an awkward placing, a placement for the wardrobes because trying to clean behind that would be kind of painful. I feel like there's a lot of unused space right behind too, so you can imagine something gets, something falls in the back there and you're like, ah, crap. Mm -hmm. You had pizza earlier. Ooh, what kind? Looks like a twin size bed. This one does, yeah. Agreed. The small version, not the XL version. They're Sephiroth. They're the best looking pup here. Do it. No, don't do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was cheese pizza. Pamps is very much about the feng shui. Hmm, they do have uh, some blue and green, kinda. Mostly green. You can count maybe the pink as the red. There's some yellow or gold. A little less of the blue though. They need more blue. I actually wish I um, I knew more about feng shui details, but I don't. I just know something about something about it's important where they're facing. It's important where they're placed. The colors are important. That's about all. <laughs> the bed is very famous plot twist. This bed is a famous plot twist. Oh no, I didn't know. They sure do have a lot of lamps though, a lot of lanterns. This kind of makes sense, you know, for either side here. This one, I guess. Jump on the bed. I don't want to jump on the bed. That's how the monkey hurts its head. <laughs> I love the detail in the um the floor right here. Even I don't know what you call these, uh but like whatever this rail is right here, you can see some potential wooden carvings. It's nice. This it looks dangerous though. I don't know. Just having gears just open like this and cogs and wheels feels dangerous but it is quite interesting that they they make it look very fantasy but then they add in the steampunk kind of element because everything on the building looks fairly medieval <laughs> but then you have the steampunk technology kind of aspect You're an airman, right? Seems like a lot of girls are joining the crew these days. Oh, hello. So what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be at the airship docks or something? I passed the flight test for the new model. I was... Nyambasu. I was really looking forward to flying number one. But it's gone now. Who knows when they'll finish number two, with the region's current condition. Uh, don't worry, you'll get your chance someday, and you'll be the first pilot ever to fly the new model. By the way, what's your name? Uh, thank you, I feel much better now. Good, I'm Zidane, and you're... My name is Aaron. Hey, that's a really nice name. Aaron. I'm gonna go get something to eat now. Do you wanna... I have to get back now. Goodbye. No. <laughs> I was thinking he seemed really friendly. <laughs> thank you for the 10 bits. Thomas, thank you. I appreciate that. I hope you're doing well. I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. How are you? Welcome in, everyone. Mm -hmm. Let me catch up. Whoop. 
There's someone who does feng shui room layouts and so much thought goes into it. You don't understand, but it's cool. Yeah, it seems like it'd be fun to do. Kind of like learning Morse code. I think it'd be fun to learn Morse code. You gave me a helmet for that? <laughs> for jumping on the bed? Thank you, Morgansta. You are only like 25% monkey though, so it'll be fine. That's true. I think Zidane will be okay. No excuses. Ah, oh, one bacon. Bacon. Concha. Wah wah. Welcome in. Slayer, welcome in. Good morning. Minasan. Ohayou gozaimasu. Ohayou gozaimasu, Slayer. Ohayou gozaimasu, Bacon. Yiddishai, welcome in. Have to have a lamp by each bed for those who like to read in bed. Yeah, yeah. I think it's good. The extra lamp on the wardrobe, though, was a. Uh, maybe a little much. Why are you such an expert of monkey head injuries caused by beds? Well, there was this little, uh, song that was about monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped its head. And then I kind of forgot the rest. Wah wah. It's gone now. <laughs> no, Morgansta. Save your money. Mm. Unlucky monkey man. You're doing good. Just popping in before bed. Thank you for your 10 bits and for popping in. I appreciate that. Have a wonderful rest of your evening and sleep well when you do retire. Poor as you don't, strikes out looking again. I was gonna say, I thought he was being very friendly. I was like, oh, that's really nice. But then he was a little too, uh, <laughs> a little too pushy, I think, maybe. Mm -hmm. Padaru. She didn't want pizza. I didn't see the pizza. Or Aaron didn't see the pizza. Mm -hmm. I actually really like this kind of furniture. Um, I think they call it East Lake. Something like that. I like this old timey looking furniture. Huh? Mm. Nyambasu, Leifian, thank you for the 14 months, and Dear Do as well, thank you! Nyambasu! I can't believe it's been 14 months already, me too! Time sure does fly, huh? But thank you so much for your continued support, especially at the higher tier, that means a lot to me, thank you! Do you want to play the RPG? You have bills and taxes, and you can't avoid taxes! That's right, good on you, pay your taxes! Fire up the band. Yee, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, yee. <yeah. laughs> you can do it. Thank you, Ricky. This is Team Leafeon. Please type in exclamation join to help out the team. May you all defeat the dragon and win Leafeon in illustration. You fell asleep halfway through yesterday's stream and just finished catching up on my VOD. <laughs> I can imagine you you might have enjoyed the um <laughs> the uh the moment right before climbing onto the, the airship. It's snelfing time, no, no more guns, so please. Thank you for turning in your permission slip, Krypton. Nice join, good join. Yo yo. -y. Good luck, good luck, everybody! Alright, last call. Please type an exclamation join to help out the team. Ready? Minasan, Gambarimas. Let's do our best, everyone! No, don't bless the dragon! No, J.A., please! There's the dragon! You made it this time, Ned Bones! There's Leafeon, led by Leafeon, Pants, and James! There's Ude-san, she's the best-looking pup here! There's Sephiroth, they're the best-looking pup here! Fight, fight! There goes the Owl Nut! Nut! Oh no! So strong! <laughs> Typhon exclamation bless! Bless the team on their final strike! Nut. No, nut bones. There goes Chi blessing the team. 
Big damage! Big damage on the final strike! But not enough. Everyone, thank you for helping out. Team Leafeon and Leafeon, thank you for the 14 months. Wow! 14 months of continued support at the higher tier. Thank you! Nimin? Whoa! I know. It was big damage. You know, I think I think we were on the cusp of the damage. Um, we had two decent cards. <laughs> I think it was on the cusp of switching colors. <laughs> Ooh. Shouldn't have blessed the dragon. It must have been. It must have been that. It was the mega curse. Next time, Mushy, next time. The village, no. GG, dragon. <laughs> You blame J.A. for buffing the dragon. I agree. Ayumi-san, yanpasu, irashai. Welcome in, Ayumi-san. Nim nim, pera pera. We are exploring around the, the castle right now. I was going to say dungeon. But I'm admiring all the pre-rendered background right now. All the details. Yanpasu. <laughs> no refunds. This is a restricted area. Okay. I was commenting earlier about how I love the medieval aspect of this, as well as the, um... I don't know what era this comes from, but this, like, East Lake... I, I believe it's called East Lake, um, furniture style. I guess maybe... Nah, I don't know. I'm not gonna hazard a guess. But yeah, I like, I like this kind of look. But the steampunk thing is, um... It's uh, a little scary, because there's no safety around it. Someone could easily get... <laughs> someone could get hurt. GG, I guess. <laughs> this is fine. Mm. Oh, Shao. Oh, Shao. This is interesting. It mentioned something about a medal yesterday. You won't play card games. I think we explored as much as we can right now, so I guess I'll have to go do the story. Welcome to Lindblom. Also, really quick, this tile work right here is actually really cool. I very rarely see red and white tile like this. Usually you see it in um, black and white. Falling off a of bed is the least of the concerns here. <laughs> Nani? There's sushi. Thank you. Lindblom Castle has three levels, all connected by this lift. The milkshake shops. Ooh, milkshake. Ooh. Oh, really? Do they have red and, and white there, so so? I usually think I see 1950s diners kind of aesthetic with black and white tile. The mix of medieval and steampunk makes it look like it's built in one era and updated later, like old buildings that still used um old building still used might be oh yeah yeah you're right i could see that yeah that's a good point that's a very good point ryudo welcome in thank you for putting in my retro form <laughs> huh nani you think so you think that's what it um sounds like you feel like that's what it um you think it feels like it sounds. Hmm. If it's not true, then at least a semi-convincing lie. <laughs> semi-convincing. Look, Amina, that's, um, Vivi. Oh, pardon me, I need to get some water there. Alrighty. Lindblom Castle has three levels, all connected by this lift. From the base level, which lies below the mist, you can take a trolley to the harbor and back gate. Ships hardly arrive at the harbor anymore, since travel by air has become so popular. I was admiring his, um, his hairdo. <laughs> The mist poses great danger, so we've sealed off everything. Just above the base level is the mid-level. 
You can ride the air cab from the mid-level to go to town. Okay. The upper level contains the royal chamber and conference room. Access to that level is restricted because the regent himself resides there. I just noticed that our uncle has a little bow. He has a little, um, presumably pink or orange bow in his beard. Vivi, vivi, wee oui, wee, oui, wee oui, wee, oui, wee. Oui. You found a random clip of me while browsing through YouTube shorts on your phone, and apparently Fate got stuck behind some old man in a house. He did. It was very troublesome. I couldn't save the world. He was a very, um, <laughs> yeah, incorrigible man. A dagger. What's Regent Sid like? I've lived in Lin... Lundblum. I've lived in Lindblum for a while, but I've never met him. Regent Sid is very wise. He always thinks ahead. He may seem a bit odd at times, but he is very dependable. He and my father were best friends. I wonder if he will even listen to what I have to say. Why wouldn't he? Don't worry. We're not leaving until he does. We will arrive at the upper level shortly. Ding. Sire, Princess Garnet of Alexandria wishes to see you. Dude, this place looks gnarly. The floor makes me think there's going to be a big boss battle here. That's a lot of red. Would you want to be in a place that was this red? <laughs> you sit in a place like this? It's pretty. I just... I feel like I don't normally see a lot of red rooms, you know? Usually, I think the aesthetic people are going for now include very, uh, very white or off-white colored rooms. It's a pretty intense vibe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, just, it just keeps making me think of a boss room, you know? Foxy, welcome in. Princess, is something wrong? Also, Foxy, Foxy, um, when is your, your event happening? Has it already started? I feel like it was supposed to be this week? I, I don't know if I've, um, missed it. When is your, um, your cutie-thon happening? Feeling like a boss room feels like the appropriate vibe for a throne room. You know what, Zeke Habit, you're right. <laughs> you are the boss, right? <laughs> if you're in the throne room, especially on the throne, you're the boss. It starts this Friday. Okay, cool. I was like, I don't know how I could have missed this. This Friday. Um, what time again, Foxy? Can we get a shout out for Foxy? Foxy's going to be doing um, a marathon, a, a uh, subathon, cutie thon, they call it. And uh, they're raising funds to help them make their big move. <laughs> It should be on, uh, doo -doo, this Friday, so a little bit later on in the week. And it starts at 6 p.m. Central on Friday. I hope you go uh, support Foxy, go give her lots of love as she starts the cutie-thon with Mushy. Also, can you get a shout-out for Mushy as well? I think um, Mushy's going to be there supporting, as always. Mm -hmm. Yes, please check out... Foxy and Mushy, go give them lots of love and support them as they they try to get on their, um, uh, get everything ready for their big move. Princess, is something wrong? 
The region isn't here. And I don't know who... Take a look at the throne. Thank you for the shout outs. The shout outs. Thank you. Mm -hmm. What in the world? What the heck? Guac guac. Uh, I'm not sure what kind of voice to give this person. Mm. Oh, you're more than that. You're so pleasant, so so. Better, better. I feel like since they're so tiny, I want to give them a, a high pitched voice. But then they have this very massive mustache. And a massive mustache makes me think of, like, you Samity Sam. <laughs> he becomes a southern lawyer all of a sudden. What do you think this guy sounds like? This, uh, person on the throne. I kind of already gave the old Sid voice to... Artania, the uncle. Uh, greetings! I guess it's an Oglop. Oh, oh, Glop! No, they hurt the baby. <laughs> Sawyer. What? Dagger, what's wrong? Why aren't you talking to? Jeez, that's an Oglop. Wow. Even the Oglops are big and limblum. What is the meaning of this? How dare you greet the princess like this? Get that repulsive bug off the throne immediately and call the regent. Please settle down. You are before the regent. What? Enough of your nonsense. Steiner, stand down. I remember that mustache. Is that really you, Uncle Sid? Yes. Greetings all. I am Sid Fabul. Sid Fabul. <laughs> Sounds funny. Fabul. I am Sid Fabul, Regent of Lindlum. I knew it was you. I recognized your pendant's description. It's so much like my falcon claw. I am delighted to see you again, Garnet. You have truly, what, become a fine lady. I, on the other hand... Allow me to explain. About six months ago, someone snuck into the castle and attacked the regent in his sleep. <laughs> There's some pretty silly words, the guap. <laughs> I think Minister Artania's name sounds super cool. Artania. Unfortunately, we were too late. The regent had been transformed into an oglop. An oglop. An oglop. The regent had been transformed into an oglop, and his wife, Lady Hilda, was abducted. Oh my. My goodness. Whoever pulled this off had to be a highly skilled person like me. <laughs> I'll bet it was you. That's not possible. How can you be so sure? Do you know who we are? Of course. I may be a bug, but I am still ruler of Lindblom. Uncle Sid, I appreciate you seeing me on such short notice. I desperately need to speak to you about my mother. That's what I figured. But I'm sure it can wait till tomorrow. Why don't you all get some rest for today? Thank you. It is time for lunch. Please follow me.
I can't stand the food at the castle. It's way too high class for my taste. How can anyone get full on that stuff? The cheap food here is a lot better. Today's special is... Soup du Silence. Hmm, not bad. You, Pops. I'll have the stupid special. <laughs> he's, he's so casual. Mm, the soup to silence. Sounds good. Yo, Pops. I'll have the stupid special. <laughs> Who does that? <laughs> I really like this flute they're using. I've mentioned this before, but I used to never really like listening to the flute. Because my brother, <laughs> my older brother, used to practice the flute. But, um, I th to be fair, I think this is a pan flute, maybe, and not the flute that he was using. But this one sounds so pretty. You got some interesting looking characters in this, um, establishment. Yo, Pops! I'll have the stupid special. <laughs> Bobo! Who said that? Uh, Zidane. I figured it was you. How have you been? Alright, I guess. Have a seat. Your soup will be ready in a minute. Lillian. Do you mind? You're standing in everyone's way. Wow. <laughs> wow. I'm sure it's like, wow. I like her outfit. It's really cute. I would be afraid to try to walk in um, sandals like that. They look like they have a huge heel. Mm -hmm. I really like that you can you can see all the little details though. You know, I know people say it's pixelated, but like you can still see she has um, these blue hoop earrings. It's nice. Or I guess as Zidane would say. Wow. Hey. Yeah? Do you want a drink? How about you and me go for a cruise on an airship? Really? An airship? Sounds like you've never been on one. You know, Limblum is quite a sight from high above. Woman at the counter. Hmm. I wonder what she sounds like. This person definitely looks like the person I saw in the the um in the uh what do you call it? The intro scene. Something about despair. What do you think this character sounds like? Oh, it looks like this person has a tail as well. I don't know if you can see that. It looks like they have a tail. Right there. Do, do I order pizza? Yes. <laughs> pizza is good. And you can always have leftovers, which is great. Look, Amina, a pizza pup. <laughs> Did you really boot my nose? <laughs> pizza pup. Whoops. <laughs> what do you think this person sounds like? Unintentionally. Fair enough. They seem really cool. You were trying to aim where I was pointing. Oh, I see. You know, I should make that, um, I should make the command acceptable with a, a space. I haven't done that. Mm -hmm. Look, Mina, the edge of the screen. Oh, it was close.
I, I feel like I want this person to sound cool, but... If they had the word despair next to them when they were being introduced in the opening... Uh, I don't know what you call that scene right before you, you go to the, the landing screen. Maybe they sound kind of sad. Hmm. Although, the way they're talking makes me think that they probably are snarky. Or just very direct. Hey, monkey tail. You're disturbing the other customers. Hmm. But that doesn't really sound sad. But they don't really seem like they're sad right now. They seem like they're miffed. Metal Fair, thank you for the lurk. Enjoy your lurk. I will enjoy the game too. Did someone say despair? <laughs> yes. Sephiroth, what kind of voice do you think this character has? The um the woman at the counter here in the red cloak. Who presumably has a tail. Do you think these sound kind of, uh, like, maybe high or, or uh, high, high pitched? Maybe a lower pitch? It's the fur! You're thinking Ditsy? Ditsy? Hmm. <laughs> For despair? I don't know why Ditsy conjures the southern voice in my head. I'm trying to remember what a Ditsy sounds like. It probably sounds a bit squeaky or nasally. Hey, monkey tail. You're disturbing the other customers. Hmm. Brooklyn. I don't know how to do the Brooklyn accent. I can't even remember what Mario sounds like now. Oh, it's a me, Mario. Oh, wait, no. Joey Wheeler. Wheeler would do it, right? Hey, Yug. Hey, monkey tail. You're disturbing the other customers. But doesn't that sound like a dude? Hey, monkey tail, you're disturbing the other customers. Like that? You think like that for that person? I can kind of, I can kind of see that being okay. Hey, monkey tail, you're disturbing the other customers. What the? You got a tail too, rat face. Rat face? That's rude. <laughs> that voice works, you think? The uh, the Joey Wheeler voice that I don't know how to do very well. All right, I'll, I'll try that. I'll try to get better with that. Thank you for the feedback. Ordering pizza, but what should be the toppings? I like, I like cheese. But I also like, um, uh, like if you just get a plain cheese one, can't go wrong with plain cheese. Um, pizza party. That one up there. This one. I like that one. With the, um, the tomatoes and the basil. Yeah, that one's great. Or the other one on the other corner over there. You could have got pineapple and pepperoni. And there's always the, um, the meat lovers if you're into that. Welcome in, Fuzzy. Thank you for the hydrate. I'll do that. You usually get double pepperoni. I don't think I've ever thought about having double pepperoni. Whoa. P -p pepperoni. Quadruple. Whoa. Going from pepperoni, double pepperoni, quadruple pepperoni. <laughs> I never had quadruple pepperoni either. That's a lot of pepperoni. Thank you for the hydrate. I'll do that too. Yum pineapple and jalapeno is top tier pizza. I still need to try with a jalapeno, although I don't know if I'll be able to survive. There's muffins, they ran away. I hope you all enjoy the muffins. <laughs> cheese, but extra. That's too much cheese. That's too much cheese. Lemon, welcome in. Howdy, howdy. 
How are you? How do you do? Sausage pizza. Yum. That one's also good too, yeah. Sardines and pineapple? I haven't tried it, but I think it'd go well. Sardines are really salty. Pineapple sweet. Seems like it'd be fine. Hand tossed or Brooklyn style? Ugh. Is does Brooklyn style mean deep dish? I don't know what that means. I am an ignorant pizza pup. <laughs> I know there's like a deep dish one where like all the toppings are stuffings, I guess. They're inside and the uh the uh the sauce is on top of them. They got thin crust. Quadruple muffins! <laughs> muffin! Double muffin! Quadruple muffins! <laughs> I always thought it was funny whenever they did that. Oh, oh I, I missed the triple, because <laughs> I can't count. <laughs> I missed the triple. I I just remember that from, um, like, Smite. <laughs> Thank you for the muffins, Lemon. Lemon? Pizza Pub into the monkey. At that point, it would be named Quadroni. Quadroni? Pepperoni. Double pepperoni! Triple pepperoni! Quadroni! Yeah, I could see it. You think so? Quadroni? Don't toss the pizza. That's how it gets on the floor. This is true, too. Kebab meat, chicken, Ooh. and bacon pizza. Ooh, that sounds good, too. To answer your question, though, uh, I don't know. If you're really hungry, then maybe the Brooklyn style. If you're okay hungry, then maybe the, uh, the, uh, hand tossed. Preferably not on the floor. Varkon, hello, welcome in. Don't forget garlic for the kebab meat, chicken, and bacon pizza. Mm -hmm. Pepperoni. Pepperoni manjaro? That's a lot of pepperoni. <laughs> Leafy on, that one's just too cute. It's too cute. Mm -hmm. It froze up and you can't judge where to end it. Oh no, I hate when that happens too. But thank you for the <laughs> the quadruple pepperoni. Thank you so so. Mm -hmm. Pitta -pitta. Bat face. After I finish my drink, I'm <laughs> going to Southern. Sorry, Joey Wheeler. Joey Wheeler. A yug. Rat face. A rat face. Hmm. I don't know. The problem is I don't know Brooklyn accent. If I if I knew the. If I knew, like, I guess the commonality of what makes it a Brooklyn accent, I could do it more reliably. I'll have to write this down. I'll have to write down to, uh, look up and study that, because it would be fun to do. I just, um, I just feel like every time I try to do an accent, I always end up going to, like, Southern for some weird reason. It's perfect! Nice! Thank you. Mm -hmm -hmm. Thank you for the head pads. It looks like some Japanese things. What does? Mm -hmm. Rat face. After I finish my drink, I'm gonna kick your butt. Hmm. I just I don't really remember what Joey Wheeler sounds except for a yug, a yug. Mm -hmm. Southern works too if it's more comfortable. I wish I I think I think the the Brooklyn would be fun to do. It's just I keep forgetting what it's supposed to sound like. In hey, monkey tail, you're a hey, monkey tail. You're you're making a mess. Hmm. Rat face. Rat face. After I finish my drink, I'm gonna kick your butt. Easy Dawn, take it outside. Long time, Zidane. Hey, what's up? Wait a minute. Watch any Ari clip and you're good. The thing is, I, I'm really bad at identifying accents. Cause usually when I, usually when I hear accents, I usually just think they're just cartoon characters, you know? Like Meowth. I just think, oh, it's just Meowth. I don't pick up, oh, that's an accent. I just think it's just someone making a funny voice, you know? 
Like, I'm just, I don't know why, I'm just really bad at telling, like, if it's an accent. I just know it just sounds different. Kind of like Australian accent. I've been trying to learn Australian accent, but unless I hear a lot of it, I don't think I'm going to hear the, um, the, uh, intricacies, if you will. You're good at making friends with dogs. <laughs> Wait a minute. You forgot my name? No, I remember. You're Helga, right? Helga. Alrighty, one pepperoni and spinach pizza. Ooh, that sounds good. Enjoy! <laughs> Helga. What an interesting name choice. No, I, I remember. You're Helga, right? Wrong. Um, Christine? No. Oh, yeah. You used to live next door to me. How's it going? Rachel? <laughs> Rachel? Like Rachel? <laughs> Zidane has been watching too much Hey Arnold. Mm-hmm. He could have said Olga. Thank you for the hydrate. I'll do that too. How's it going, Rachel? Man, you've gotten really... Big. <laughs> what the heck? You nasty little. You nasty little. Oh, come on. I'm just kidding. You know, I never forget a pretty girl's name. You know I never forget a pretty girl's name. Freya. That's a very pretty name. Her nose doesn't really look like a rat, though. I don't see... Well, I guess maybe a little. Hmm. I guess a little, but not really. It looks like... From what I can see in the face, it looks kind of like, um... What's that dragon's name? Falcor? <laughs> what if you name her Helga, Christine, or Rachel? <laughs> Very pretty messed up. <laughs> it would be funny though. <laughs> then oh, sorta, sorta. Ah, Falcor. Doesn't it kind of look like a little like Falcor's? You're looking at the picture wrong. You thought the red bit on the top of her eyes. I can see that too. I could see that, yeah. But, yeah, I just, I barely saw her, um, her green eyes right underneath. Or at least one green eye. Mm -hmm. You playing some Fortnite? I hope you enjoy your time playing Fortnite. Mm -hmm. All right, let's pick Freya. So, how you been, Freya? Same old Zidane. How long has it been? Shy. Hello, welcome in. Actually, I think it might be Ja Jacone. Jacone. Mata no namai wa Jacone. Jacone desne. 
You want to get the Harley Quinn skin for the Fortnite? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was Jakune san. How long has it been? About three years. Hey, did you ever find out anything about your boyfriend? No. So, what brings you to Lindblom? Yukumi-san, Irishai. <laughs> gyro dance, gyro dance. So, what brings you to Lindblom? Yo yo! The festival of the hunt. What else? It's a good opportunity to test my skills. Oh. Well, I'm sure you'll find him someday. Aren't you participating? Nah. I think I'll pass. Lazy bum. Are you ever going to go back? I have no reason to return to Vermessia. There is nothing there for me anymore. How's the queen? Is she still as vibrant as ever? Yes, but... Since father passed, mother has been acting very strangely. I'm not surprised. Quack quack. They loved each other so much. We haven't spoken much lately. Also, a suspicious man has been prowling around the castle. I don't know what's going on anymore. I fear that she might be planning something terrible. I've brought this matter to everybody's attention, but no one is taking me seriously. I'm here on the referral from Rito. Ritoru. Ritoru ta tan famen Ritoru ta Ritoru ta tamen Oh well thank you for coming over here Arigato gozaimasu Final Fantasy 9 is a very good game I'm having a lot of fun with it It is my first time playing it but I've been really really enjoying it so far <laughs> It's nice to meet you. Hajimimashite. I've brought this matter to everyone's attention, but no one has taken me seriously. Mm -hmm. Riverbine Little Tanmen. Oh, Aya, yeah. Ritoru, Ritoru Tanmen. Mm hmm. They all think I'm distraught over losing father. I understand why you're so eager. I'm happy you came here to me for help. At this point, I think you're the only person mother will listen to. When I heard that Lindblom's theater ship was coming to Alexandria, I decided to sneak on board and come here no matter what. I just never expected the crew to kidnap me.
It was me. I... I was the one who ordered Tantalus to kidnap you. Huh? I once promised your father, what, that should anything happen, I would protect you. We've known about the disturbances in Alexandria for some time. But had we acted directly, it would have started a war. So I asked Baku for help. He and I go way back. The play was the perfect cover to enter Alexandria and get you out. No one would suspect Limblum was behind it. We were, what, forced to take action because we knew Alexandria would never seek our help. I'm relieved we were able to get you here. At the village of Dolly, we saw numerous black mages. They looked like golems, controlled by some powerful magic. On top of that, they were being created under Alexandria's supervision. I don't know how they're related to Vivi, but if Mother is planning to use them for war... We won't let that happen. Even if she were to command an army of black mages, she won't make a move as long as we have our airship fleet. Don't worry, quack quack. Everything will be fine. I'm so sorry, Uncle. Now, now, come on. Don't be so formal. I'm helping you because I am your Uncle Sid, not because I'm the Regent of Lindblom. Thank you so much. What is this place? The heart and soul of Lindblom, our airship dock. This is dock number one, where we conduct our research. Whoop. But where are the airships? Lonely, isn't it? We had a new airship model in here about six months ago. It was our latest creation. It didn't require mist to fly. The man who attacked you, was he the one who ran off with it? Good guess, but no. Actually, I met a lovely lady at the pub. Um... <laughs> um, what? <laughs> The man who attacked you, was it him? Good guess, but but no. There was actually a lovely lady at the pub. What? When Hilda found out about my little affair, she used her magic and turned me into an oglop. Then she stormed off in the new airship, which I named Hilda Guard. Pretty ironic, eh? She hasn't been back since. Quark. I've been working on Hilda Guard too, but it hasn't been going too well. My mind just isn't the same as an oglop. I'm hopeless. 
but that doesn't mean I can't help you. I'll do my best for Alexandria. Thank you. But with Southgate badly damaged, I don't know how we can get to Alexandria. Don't worry. Southgate is being repaired as we speak. Once the repairs are finished, we'll go to Alexandria. Yes, I'm sure Mother will finally open her eyes to the truth. Uncle, is something wrong? This place looks really cool. Uh huh? No, I was just thinking about how the theater ship crashed. Buck sure has good men working under him. Good morning. You're up early. Emblem is really a busy place. I've never seen this many people before. I wonder where people go if they want to be alone. Lindblom has always been like this. People come here from all over the world. Some of them come here to become airship engineers, sculptors, actors. Wow. I don't even remember why I came here my first time. Before I knew it, I was living here with my Tantalus brothers. Do they still live here? Yeah, our hideout is in the theater district. I'm gonna go there right now. Do you want to come along? Um, that's okay. I'm gonna go look around town. Okay, then I'll give you a little tour. No, that's okay. I can go by myself. Oh... Okay. Go find yourself a cute girl, alright? Teach me, Mogster, my first synthesis lesson. Synthesis? Ooh, okay. Hey, bro. What are you gonna teach me today? Lots of neat stuff. Today, I'm gonna talk about the synthesis shop. In addition to regular shops where you can buy and sell items, there are synthesis shops where you can synthesize items to create new items. All you need are two items to serve as the base, and a few gill to cover the labor. The items you need and the amount of money you pay vary for each synthesized item. Here are some examples. Synthesis example. The Ogre. Required item 1, Mage Masher. Required item 2, Mage Masher. Cost, 700 gil. Desert Boots. Required item 1, Leather Hat. Required item 2, Leather Shirt. Cost, 300 gil. If you haven't been to a synthesis shop, go check one out in Limblum. Oh, speaking of synthesis, I'll tell you a big secret. Long ago, I heard rumors that there was a legendary synthesis who can create the best items. But I don't know where he lives or what he looks like.
Gosh, bro, you sure know a lot. Yeah, I know. <laughs> They're so cute. They got this very um, old Victorian wallpaper, the green wallpaper. These are some huge windows. I wonder what they have in the paintings. Oh, look at the little stone pillars. Udon. Can I help you, Koopa? Magnet. There's a letter for Zidon. From Ruby to Zidon. Ain't y'all coming back to Alexandria? I'm so lonely. Just kidding. I'm opening a little theater in an alley here. A bartender pal of mine is quitting the saloon and getting into showbiz. He asked me to help. Your friend is starting a mini theater. Sounds like fun, Koopo. I want mail, Koopo. Awesome, welcome in. Thank you for your stream earlier. Mm. And thank you for streaming now. Thank you for your stream earlier. <laughs> Shinji, hello. Shinji san, Irishai. Konnichiwa. What's this? No. Bobo bird statue. Bobo birds are symbols of good fortune according to an Ogun myth. The founder of this inn bought the statue and has been and it has been passed down for generations. Ah, Shigesan, hello. New emotes are so cute, huh? <laughs> Arigato gozaimasu. Thank you. Thank you, Shigeru-san. Nom nom. Better, better. You think your monitor is on the way out. Probably another year left in it, but all the text is looking um, like it's getting fuzzy. Oh no. That does sound like it's going out. Shinji-san, good morning. Ohayou gozaimasu. This is a bobo bird, huh? Good fortune. Okay. I really love what they did in here. I wish we could observe whatever these um wall paintings are. Whatever they're hanging on the wall. Comments slash suggestions. The room was terrible. Also, that thing crying Koopo Koopo kept me up all night. Throw him out ASAP, or I'm never coming back. Lonnie. <laughs> that thing was crying Koopo Koopo all night. I couldn't go to bed. <laughs> Shinji san, arigato gozaimasu. Reido, arigato gozaimasu. Otsukari sama deshita. Thank you for the raid. Thank you for your hard work. Mina san, irashai. Welcome in, everyone. How was the stream? Anata no haishin wa do deshita ka? How was it? Oh, playing some StarCraft 2 today. I hope you had a fun time. I wonder what, uh, what class you were playing as. I wonder if you played as maybe, um, maybe Protoss. Perhaps you were using Zergs. Mm -hmm. 
And for folks who don't know Shinji-san, they like to play a variety of games. And recently, they've been playing some StarCraft 2. They like to play the Protoss and Terran. Ooh, okay. I never played much of Terran. I played mostly Protoss. <laughs> when I used to play StarCraft, I would play the Protoss. Shinji-san, would you like to play the OW RPG? It is a mini game I made, and all you have to do to play is say yes and hang around a few minutes. If you win in the mini game, you can win an illustration from me. And <laughs> throw out the Moogles possum. You like to play hybrid Zerg and primal Zerg. Oh, okay. Very fancy. I only, I only really play Protoss. For anyone new, welcome in. Mina-san, Irishai. Watashi wa Arin desu. I'm Alan. Watashi wa Aoinu desu. I'm a blue dog. Koi no ga suki desu. I like to voice act. Mm -mm. What RPG? Oh, here, I'll show you. Um, mite kudasai. I will show you. Alrighty, this is the mini game, Shinji san. Um, koko wa watashi no mini game desu. <laughs> this is my mini game. Kore wa, kore wa. This is. This is for Team Shinji san. Please type an exclamation join to help out the team. May you all defeat the dragon and win Shinji san an illustration. Alrighty, last call. Please type an exclamation join to help out the team. Minasan, Gambarimas. Let's do our best, everyone. There's the dragon. Here's Team Shinji, led by Leafeon, Weirgi, and Chi. There goes the Owl Moogle attack. And the Father and Son Moogle attack. And the Rico Nut. Nut. Aurora. Please type an exclamation blast to help the team with their final strike. Nut. <laughs> there goes Possum. Blasting the team. Oh, so close. So much damage. But not enough. Everyone, thank you for helping out. Team Shinji. And Shinji, thank you for the raid. I appreciate that. Shinji-san, Redo arigatouzaimasu. Otsukare sama deshita. Good try. Nice try. <laughs> the redemption. No. <laughs> Oof. Our rate is 100 gil per night. Will you be staying with us? No. Your rate is so fun. Ah, arigatouzaimasu. Thank you again for the raid. I appreciate it. Man, there's so much detail in this one room. Received 163 gil. Event. Small town night in a big city. I can't believe Al is stealing even more of Grandma's medicine money. Possum, I wasn't stealing it. It was on the ground. I was looking at it. Wow. What a huge town! I'm completely lost!
Pardon me. Female red mage. Jeez, you're dressed awful funny. I am Captain Adelbert Steiner of Alexandria, and I humbly request your assistance to get back to the castle. <laughs> That's a new one. Nice try, but I don't date bums. You should really scrape that rust off. It's disgusting. He really is rusty. Oh my. I thought I thought Zidong was just teasing him. I didn't realize his outfit's actually rusty. Yes, she dropped it, you thief. No, James, no. <laughs> Why is his armor rusty? Thank you for the head pets. Hello, Nelly. Welcome in. What? Huh? Grandma Pickle. Do you always strike out that badly? I think you need a new line. A little shine wouldn't hurt either. What are these things? They're called Geisel Pickles. They're one of Lindblom's delicacies. Do you want to try one? It smells terrible! The worse they smell, the better they taste. I guess I'll try one. <laughs> oh my! Even the locals don't eat them in one bite. <laughs> but you're right. They are good. If someone implied that the Knights of Pluto are the B team of Alexandria's knights. Oh yeah, they de <laughs> they definitely been saying that <laughs> since um, since Alexandria Castle. <laughs> you told me that Dagger's name should have been Pickle. No, she's not a Geisel Pickle. She's a Dagger. Steiner loves pickles and sardines. We haven't even seen the sardines yet. Marsha. Papa's airship fighter is so cool. When I grow up, I'm gonna fly with Papa. Elena. Papa should be back soon. I can't wait. Walk. Air cabs are amazing. Back in the old days, we had to walk all the way to the theater district. I don't think I could ever walk that far anymore. I'd probably croak if I did. Soldier, this year's festival is going to be awesome. Who do you think is going to win? I'm putting my money on Ivan. Yeah, he's good. But I heard a female Dragon Knight's participating this year. I'll bet you two cheeseburgers Ivan's gonna win. Okay, you're wrong. Two cheeseburgers. You're entering the festival? Man, you're so lucky. Soldiers aren't allowed to participate. Are you ready for the festival? If you need to buy anything, you better take care of it now. All the shops are closed during the event. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this thing screaming Koopo Koopo all night kept me up. <laughs> the 
cheeseburger. Silly old man. Go away. I'm trying to remember what I have to do. Oh, yeah. I've got to go uh, excuse myself. <laughs> what the heck? My mother was never a fan of that kind of talk. My brother tried talking like that. <laughs> I remember when I was a young pup, my brother started trying to talk like that. My mother was like, where are you going to take it, huh? <laughs> Active time event. VV shopping. Wow, this nut smells really good. I think I'll buy one. This place has a lot of unusual things. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Foro, arigatouzaimasu. Irishai? Is this food? It looks good. It smells like the sesame buns that Grandpa used to make. Nut. Alice's item shop. Festival of the Hunt sale ends today. Wow, there's gonna be a festival. Hi, I wanna buy this. Oh, are you friends with the Moogles? Huh? That item is called a Kuponut. Kuponuts are Moogles' favorite food. Oh, I didn't know that. I think that's the last one. Go ahead, honey. It's on me. Really? Uh, thank you. Received Kuponut. All right. Um... What is this Festival of the Hunt like? Well, we let a bunch of animals loose and... Oh, there's gonna be a lot of animals. It sounds like fun. Thank you. What's so fun about fighting savage beasts? <gasps> Wait a minute. Did I say animals again? Oh no. Vivi is a cutie. Vivi's a bad egg. He didn't know. An egg? <laughs> Thank you for the hydrate. I will take a sip. Oh, there's more water. There's more water. It's going to overfill. Thank you for the head pets. Nade nade, arigatouzaimasu. More gods to the water bowls overfilling. I can't drink that much. Okay, I'll, I'll eat that. Mmm, thank you. Tasty. Morgasta, you woof. Morgasta, you thank you. You you fed me too much water. Now my water bottle's empty because it all spilled on the floor. <laughs> Why are we flexing? My water's on the floor.
<laughs> Thank you. Because the water's on the floor. <laughs> Good day. Old Margaret. The transportation sure has come a long way. When I was young, we used to ride chocobos. They were much slower than these air cabs. It used to take at least an hour to get to the theater district. <laughs> More hydration. Alright, well, I'm gonna go to the washroom because I hydrated way too much now. So I'll be right back. And I'm also gonna refill my water bottle. I will see you soon. Give me your patience. Provisional air cab schedule. For the next three days, air cabs will operate on the Festival of the Hunt schedule. Air cab management. Thank you for the welcome back. Okari, arigatazaimasu. Tadaima. No, welcome in. 
and Monaco, welcome in. Nyambasu. Hello, baby. <laughs> She's being very demanding. My dog. You were just sleeping a moment ago. There you go. Lindblom Castle Air Cab Business District. Why to the theater district? Why to the industrial district? Fly to Lindblom Castle. Don't ride. Let's keep looking around. <laughs> Male Red Mage. Guess how long it takes to walk from here to the exit. 30 minutes! Man, I can't stand these walls. If only I had an airship. That guy acts like an... That guy always acts like such a know-it-all. I don't know why he became a soldier. He should have been a tour guide instead. This is the Hunter's Gate. You can enter Lindblom by foot here, or through the Dragon's Gate. Normally, we keep the Dragon's Gate closed because it's under the mist, where a bunch of monsters lurk. He seems helpful. Oopsie. No, 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 I wasn't done looking. Please take me back. Oops. Young lady, did you come to Lindblom to shop? There are so many more shops here than there are in my hometown. Village sculptor. Wow. How do they how do they carve stone like this? Hey, this one looks like Baku. Dang, I just want to look at it, but I keep going to the outside. keeps leaving Lindblom. I understand. <laughs> I didn't say it was a stinky city. I was just trying to look around and observe. They do have a lot of cool carvings, don't they? I wish I got a better look at it. I'm just running along the edges of the perimeter because I want to see if there's anything to interact with. That's a little strange. This looks like the same place, but there's clearly something dividing on the top. There's this partition in the middle that makes me think there's two stairways, but it's just one.
Oh, he's back. Just a median. <laughs> yes, <laughs> just a median. <laughs> hey, Papa, where did you fly today? Just over the border. Really? How was South Gate? It was bad. I think it'll take a while to repair it. The great thing about the festival is you get to take time off to be with your family. I made a traditional festival of the hunt dish. I don't know if it's good, but I made plenty of it. Hey, don't you think my papa's cool? He rides in an airship called the... The what? The Viltgants. The Viltgants. He rides in an airship called the Viltgants. I thought Elena was going to offer me some food since she said she made plenty. The Vilt Gants. Does sound pretty cool. My name is not Vilt Gans, it's Vincent. <laughs> oh, okay, can't go in there. Or here. I'm still trying to get my bearings. Alrighty, I think I know where things are. Darn, they're not selling at all. Geisel pickles are good, but they smell really bad. oil shop. Mm, pardon me. Now carrying Oglop oil, one of the most popular medicines in the market. Mountain Oglop oil is also in stock. But what does it do? I'm so happy you're playing nine. Are you enjoying it? I am. I've been having a lot of fun. Um, I mean, you can probably tell. I'm really taking my time to look at every little detail, the pre-rendered background. And I like the characters interactions with each other. I've been having a lot of fun <laughs> um, whenever Zidon and Steiner have an exchange because <laughs> they seem um, they seem like a fun bunch to talk about and do their voices. And I, I always say this, but whenever I play these old school RPGs, I really, really enjoy looking at pre-rendered backgrounds, especially when they have as much detail packed into them like this game does. I think it's so easy to run by and not really take it all in, and there's nothing wrong with that. But for me, I like to explore and, uh, I guess appreciate the little things. The little things. Ivan's Fish Shack. Fresh fish sold every day. I just came here to watch the festival, but I guess they'll expect some souvenirs. What a bummer. I hate buying gifts. I was thinking of buying some Oglop oil, but it's so disgusting. <laughs> the pickle. <laughs> Wait, I, I know the perfect gift. No, come back. Just go down here and buy these pickles. They taste good, apparently, but don't smell them. Wimpy guy. I'm getting sick. The air is so bad here. <laughs> it smells like I'm in a big oil refinery. <laughs> the fish. I want to challenge some more people to card games, but... Um, I feel like I'd want to say beforehand, there's a little pigeon over there. Card Freak gone. The card game is deep. I guess this guy has cards. 
We could try challenging him, I guess. Card collector number seven. Feature article regarding rare cards. Rare cards are priceless. The cards you're carrying could become rare cards. Fabul Publications. Well, how do I know? It's time to duel. Received an echo screen. And a high potion. Oh, the little birdies up there are just so adorable. Hmm. You wanna play? You wanna play cards? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, you can have more than five, okay. They got a nest in the clock. They do. It was really cute. Although I'm concerned that they're, they're a little too close to the gears. this. I didn't realize the cards have actually individual attributes. I thought they had the same attributes. Like, for example, this one seems like it attacks um, all of the bottom uh, corners and edge. I thought this one would too. I didn't realize it doesn't. see where they say you can look at the number. Can I? Select cards to use. Okay, yeah, but I want to know. They said there's a way to look at like how much damage it has, but I don't see any numbers there. They just say zero, and then I just see a bunch of zeros. Hmm. seeing any good card placements for my character, unfortunately. <laughs> it's a really catchy tune. I don't know what they call that instrument, but you can hear the kind of, like, croaking sound, like, right? The numbers are attack power, attack type, physical defense, and magic defense. But I don't... I don't see numbers. I just see... Unless it's saying they all have zero. It just looks like it says 0H00. 0X00. 0P00. I don't see any numbers. They all have zero. Okay. I was surprised to see that they all had zero. But why did this guy have like a 13 and he had a 5 when they attacked? Like the numbers came from somewhere. These ones all have strength 0. But why did it say 13 on this guy, but then 5 on this dude? Or it might have said 8, I don't know. This guy I think had 13. They're dice rolls, oh. I see. Kind of. I don't know if I put this card here, if this card's going to take it over, or if I'm going to take over this one. Mm -hmm. Man, all my 
cards are not good. <laughs> not good for this placement. It's RNG based off of strength numbers, but then a die roll. Hmm. So a higher number for the base? Like they add the base to the die roll? Or the base number determines what the die roll can do? From what I've seen so far in the game regarding this mini game, they kind of my impression is they kind of make the game seem like a you must figure out the rules on your own. Only one person's vaguely told me in the game about how the rules play out. Uh, well, I guess I won't know unless I just try. Dang it. This is the worst. Need more cards. See, the thing is, I kind of want to put something here to protect these cards, but there's nothing stopping them from taking this card and just. Well. I don't know. Pardon me. I was gonna say, there's nothing stopping the NPC from taking this card over and bonusing around. But from what I've seen, it looks like the combo to flip the cards adjacent is dependent on a battle. So this guy won't ever get into a battle. I guess we'll find out. Uh-oh. Hopefully it's okay right here. Alright. Hmm. I don't know what to get. Maybe this one. That one looks pretty strong. Zero against zero, like here, is pure RNG, but the rolls are boosted if you have higher strength. Ooh. Oh, okay. They don't explain it well at all. Yes. Thank you for the GG. <laughs> I want to play that some more, but only because I haven't found a good way to reliably get the cards. Um, I'm concerned about losing cards, so I feel like a baby in that I want to go save every time I win. So far, I've only randomly received cards from battle. Like a baby, yes. As in, I must save so I don't lose progress. Or my cards. <laughs> or princess. <laughs> uh, I guess. <laughs> Saving is good. Mm-hmm. I agree. That is why when I played Resident Evil earlier, it was very troublesome because I could not save as freely as I like. Because I do want to challenge more people to card games. I think it's fun. Want to play cards? No? Okay. It seems like hardly anybody I've asked- I have been asking people, by the way. Um, oh, here we go. Marsha wants to play. Yeah, yeah, Marsha proceeds to kick my booty. I honestly didn't know they were different, you know? I thought they were all the same. This one looks really good.
Oh no, I go first. Uh. Maybe this guy. Here. Dang it. <laughs> He has numbers. true so auto capture that card yeah yeah yeah. i saw that which is why i was looking for the um the up arrow i'm very uh hesitant to put anything down if i see that they might be able to combo it with the arrows mm, but i don't really have anything good going on right now Dang, I don't have any up arrows. Mm. There is a down arrow. be really bad, but maybe it's fine. No! No! Ooh, tough player. Problem is, I'm not really thinking too hard about what I pick. I'm just kind of having fun with it. Well, they're gonna pick the corner. <laughs> yeah, I was like, they're gonna pick the corner. Why wouldn't you? Save card. Leave it. I'm a little 
worried about putting this here. Too bad. Hmm. Maybe one more. The thing is, I worry about putting putting things down that could be useful for multiple attacking. Like, this one's actually a pretty strong card because of the different arrows. This one wouldn't be too bad, I guess, here. Oh, thank goodness. And there's some part of me that tries that wants to try to block in like this. Um, if I lose the card, it's not a big deal. I'll, I'll save two. You have to be aggressive though. If you want to get cards, you have to be aggressive. Oof. So much for aggression. I don't think this works if I throw this here. Yeah. Unfortunate. Oh, that was really unfortunate. best I can do is this card here and hope that we win. I guess we didn't lose anything. Oh, that's a strong card. <laughs> Princess, please. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear her. She's like, <laughs> Oh no, I saw... I see Alice found the card game. I did. <laughs> John, welcome in. How are you? We're just exploring a little bit of it. For now. Of course. I got the other one. That was pretty nice. Hmm. Maybe this one. Alright, that's enough of that. Let's go save. Going okay? Have things been treating you well? I've been doing well, yeah. Thank you. Admittedly, um, the weather has made me pretty, um, sleepy. Um, 
I've had to resist the urge of getting another mocha. I love the taste of a mocha, but I'm very susceptible to caffeine in that I can get a little wired, if you know what I mean. And it's not <laughs> it's not good for my sleep schedule. So um, but I love the I love the scent and the flavor of a mocha. But I am a little sleepy. Just a bit a little sleepy. What if we want a hyperactive Allen stream? Then we play a lot of salmon run and I wake up. Nah, actually to be honest, even if I'm tired, playing salmon run will be difficult. Because I can, I can tell, I t I've uh, shared this with y'all, I think yesterday, but um, there's that point when you can tell, you're like, oh, I'm not thinking very fast. I'm kind of slow. <laughs> it's like, uh, why'd I do that? I could have did that play better. <laughs> Al gets the zoomies. Uh, hmm, sometimes. My zoomies are a little less uh, run around in circles and more talk a bunch and laugh at my own laughter. Oops. The poster is finished. Please check Disco when you get a chance. So cute. Uri-san did a great job. Okay. Let me go look at it right now, actually. Roop. Let's go look at it right now. Yes. Decaf mocha for the win. I don't- I haven't actually looked into a decaf option, to be honest, Mirgi. What I usually do to make a mocha is, um, I, uh, there's this Vietnamese instant coffee mix. It comes on a little packet. I get some of that and I throw it in my mug and then, um, I'm running out of it though, but I like to use this dark cocoa called, uh, from a brand called Valrona. And I'll get a little, uh, um, maybe half tablespoon of that and throw it in. But, yeah, the instant coffee mix <laughs> has a lot of caffeine. Hmm. Alright, let me go see this, this thing really quick. One second while I look at this, uh, picture. Let me look at the picture. McDonald's mocha frappes? I never had that. I don't really, um... I never really had Starbucks either, to be honest. The only time I consumed a little bit of Starbucks was from my older brother. And it was, uh, very sweet. But I don't really like super sweet things. To consume, that is. It's so cute. Let me get this picture so I can show it to you all. It's so cute. I want to show you what Ude made. Caffeine does nothing to you. You know, John, my brother's the same way. He... I mean, I guess that's why I get Starbucks. But I think Starbucks, when I have it, it's like, whoa. I get really like, woo. <laughs> like someone goes, <"Bzz." laughs> But again, I've never really had much of Starbucks. I've only ever had like a, a couple of um, slurps, I guess you could say, from the straw. From like a mocha or whatever. I don't know what he got. He got something. Let me get this picture so you all can see the cute picture.
I'm almost done. Good evening, Gemini. Welcome in. You used to mix around six packets of hot chocolate mix powder into a mug and get a massive sugar high from it. And you are amazed that you did not give yourself diabetes. You called it the chocolate sludge. <laughs> At what point should you just get a pudding? <laughs> a pudding cup. <laughs> you can get a pudding cup. Chocolate pudding cup. Ready, I think I got this. Let me just go over here. Do do. I think I need to add it here. Mm -hmm. Oops, one second, I forgot to grab it. Oop. Gotta grab it. It's kind of the important part. scene for this so I can uh, grab it easily across all my different scenes. There it is, I think. Here you go. Look at this cute picture. This promotional art that Ure-san made for our collaboration. A little bit later on in the week. On Friday Pacific time or Saturday in Japanese time. Isn't that cute? That's, that's me. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> Make it the paw. Oops. Oops. Fate, you're on the wrong side. You gotta get above. This one's me. There's Ure-san. <laughs> and Sora-san. And we got Rio. <laughs> it looks so good. Oops, let me put this away really quick. Put Fade away. <laughs> OC, thank you for the raid. Welcome in, Raiders. How was your stream? What are we up to? Welcome in, Raiders. And Zio. Darren, welcome in. Thank you all for your patience as I was getting the image. <laughs> Sora-san, yeah, that's you. So cute. Nice. Isn't it nice, Mirgi? It's so good, right? Uri-san does really pretty artwork. Welcome in, raiders. Mm -hmm. You wanted to raid in during a break, but I just came back and you feel cheated. So we better go to the dragon's backside. <laughs> I I was um I was trying to get the picture up, but I see. Welcome in, OC and raiders. I hope you had a fun time with um Road Rash, Jailbreak. Oh, Road Rash. I was told about this game that it's basically G bike. <laughs> was it fun? And then for those who don't know OC, OC is um, an entertaining streamer who likes to play a lot of retro games. They also enjoy speedrunning some of them, including one of my favorites, Mizerna Falls. And they like to do a lot of uh, streaming on retro computer tinkering, so you can see them actually show off how they build a retro computer. I hope you go check out OC and go give them some love. It's a fun game. It looked fun. Imagine having an advantage in the RPG because you raided during an away message. You can sneak up on the dragon. <laughs> Maybe. Yes, for anyone new, welcome in. My name is Alvin. I'm a blue healer and I like to voice act. Today we're playing Final Fantasy IX, which is right there. <laughs> um, but I was showing off this really cool picture that my friend Uri-san did for our collaboration a little bit later in the week on Friday Pacific time and Saturday Japanese time. Oh, see, you want to play the RPG? Yes, let me get that ready for you. <laughs> Tinkering on old CRTs is super nerdy. I guess OC has to be super nerdy. Very smart with it, though. Knows a lot about old computers. <laughs> All 
variety of this for Team OC, please type in exclamation join to help out the team. May you all defeat the dragon and win OC an illustration. <laughs> CRTs are so heavy, they're very heavy. Nice join, good join. Alrighty, last call. Please type an exclamation join to help out the team. everyone. There's the dragon. Here's Team OC led by Ryudo. We have Thorson and Sephiroth. And there's Sephiroth again. They're not your average bogs. There's me. I'm the best looking buff here. And there goes the foxy nut. Nut. Aurora. Please type an exclamation bless to help. Bless the team on their final strike. <laughs> flee! <laughs> Sephiroth, don't flee! We need you! There's Ryoto blessing the team! Big damage! Big damage on the final strike! But not quite enough. Everyone, thank you for helping out. Team OC. And OC, thank you for the raid! I'm glad you had a lot of fun playing Road Rash. <laughs> 5 HP, it must have been. GG! GG! Nice try, nice fight. The dragon was too OP. But it was defeated. It has been defeated. Oof. I don't remember if I saved. I think I did, but I'm gonna do it again just in case. We were playing some card games earlier. But I think I'm ready to go look around. Again. Chef at Limblum Castle. I demand the finest ingredients for all my dishes. Nyampasu! Nyampasu, Valkyrie. Welcome in. <laughs> this guy wants to play. Uh, I'm okay. I do want to play some more, but I want to look around a little more. Alright, we were just here. We got some cards from him. Pepe's Milk Shop. Offering farm fresh milk delivered from Limblum Plateau. Excellent in stews. Ooh, sounds good. Uzu. I trained like crazy for this year's festival. I'm gonna win for sure. Grandma Poopery, or Popery. Grandma Popery. Would you like to buy a flower pot? You can use it as cookware too. I 
mind carrying a lot of nice pots right now. <laughs> Not quite like that, OC. <laughs> I said the ooh at the wrong place. Po Pui, I guess. Maucha? Mocha. Mocha's coffee. Mocha. I'm sure it's mocha. Mocha's coffee. We serve top grade coffee. 10% of our coffee beans are from the coffee rich heights of Norwich. Norwich. Oh, he's, he's blocking me in. Mm -hmm. That plaza clock tower is cool. It looks like it has a built in sundial. This one right here? Yeah. It even has, um, I noticed the, the numerals, but the first thing that caught my eye was the, um, the compass, I guess. Mm -hmm. Are they fresh pots? I don't know. I think she already fired them up. Maybe it's mocha with a tss sound. Like matcha. Matcha, maybe. Mucha. Mucha. I'm surprised he has nothing to say about the, um, yeah, the fountain. I need to find a synthesis shop. I want to try that out. Heather. Rio, I'm bored. Let's go to another store. Come on! In a minute. Jeez. I remember a guy with spiky hair who carried something like this. Grandma Potpourri. We know what her favorite scent is. Potpourri. No, please. I don't want to get stuck talking to you. Man, looking at all this stuff makes me want to become a gladiator. Dragoos. If you want to come out on top in the festival, you should definitely buy some weapons here. A fork? Hmm. What a cheesy suit of armor. Who would buy this crap? <laughs> so judgmental. Maybe this is a synthesis shop. Looks cool. I think you're going to need some medicine if you're going to participate in the festival. I need a lot of medicine anyway because I spent a bunch of it. I should get some of these. Good enough. I want to look at this object. It looks like you can interact with it. It looks like the queen. This is pretty cute. Giant barrel in the middle, the candelabra on top, all these little knickknacks, <laughs> a smaller little barrel right here. I wonder what this is. Like a towel?
Hannah. Mm -hmm. We don't have many items in stock today because Southgate is under repair. Cooper nut, Moogle's favorite food, sold out. Intricate details everywhere, I agree. Like, even up here, just in this corner, there's so much to look at, you know? I wish I could observe whatever this little um, green thing is over there. There's um, not the banner, but underneath the lamppost, there's like a tiny treasure chest. <laughs> Gotta get some food. <laughs> Koopo nut, Koopo nut. <laughs> I I hope you get good food then, OC. Even on her countertop, she has nice little designs on the the panels. I wish I could interact with this. It looks like you can. Maybe later. <laughs> I wonder what she has in that, that little area right there. Maybe there, it's another bottle holder. There's something about that shelf I've always found really cozy. That shelf style right over here. This one. It has a very rustic look. Very cute shop, though. Very cute. Mm -hmm. Oh, what was that? Columns action figures. Get your royal family action figures today. Brawn figures are now in stock. I was. I knew it was a queen. <laughs> royal family action figures. <laughs> Would you buy a royal family action figure? I wonder how they fight. I wonder if they have Kung Fu Grip. You would if you were Musashi. <laughs> I want to get that game. I don't have it, but it'd be fun to play. Must buy all the figures. The owl, the ink. Ink, welcome in. How are you? No, come back! I hate the festival of the hunt. My father gets injured every year. More chicken. Maybe an action figure of Garnet. That'd be cool. But... You think she would do kind of like an uppercut or something? Like you push a button in her back, <laughs> this little button in the back, and when you push it, like she does an uppercut with the um, with the staff attached. <laughs> Hope everyone. Well, I'm doing well. A little sleepy, but doing well. How are you? Sorry for my dog barking. How goes everything? How goes Final Fantasy today? It's going pretty well. We were investigating some of the, um, the, uh, what do you call it? The card game. And now we're looking around and observing and enjoying all of the background details. You're beating up the bad guys. 
Did you win? <laughs> Chin, thank you for the raid. Welcome in raiders. Chin, how was your stream? Where are you all up to? Did you complete the mission? One of many bad guys. Oh. Playing the Jendia. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Another Tales game. Exciting. Hope you're having fun with it. And folks don't know Chen or Ethereal Chinchilla. They are a Void Scent Chinchilla. And they like to play a lot of uh, different kind of games. You might see them playing some shooters as well as some uh, RPGs. They've been also exploring the Tales series a bit and uh, doing some uh, co-op games. They also like to do randomizers of Ocarina of Time. So please check out Chen, go give them lots of love. And for anyone new from Chen, welcome in. My name is Alvin. I'm a blue healer and I like to voice act. Today we're playing Final Fantasy IX for the first time on the PS1 and uh, I'm enjoying the scenery and investigating every little inch I can. <laughs> Welcome in. The weekend has been cool, chilling for the most part. It's starting to feel, um, a bit... Oh, you're starting to feel a bit under the weather though. Oh no! I hope you get some good rest and, and uh, stay very hydrated. Have some chicken noodle soup and all that. I'm glad to hear it's all good otherwise though. You almost beat it. You're at the last prologue chapter. Oh, exciting. Good luck. Mm -hmm. Hi, Turquoise. Welcome in. Jen, do you want to play the RPG? This little guy's wagging his tail. Arf! <laughs> so cute. Yeah, okay, let's go play. This is for Team Chin. Please type in exclamation join to help out the team. May you all defeat the dragon and win Chin in illustration. It's Ow in the game. It's me. I have a very waggy tail. Nice join. Good join. Last call, please type an exclamation join to help out the team. Does it count the same name? How do you mean, Darren? Nyampasu! Something eels? Nyampasu! Nice join! Ready? Minasan! Ganbarimasu! Let's do our best! Nice join! joins it it does um take everyone who types in exclamation join if you type it in multiple times it doesn't change anything it only takes you once there's the dragon here's team chin led by dino zoomies ink and so so there goes jay's cat the best looking pup here there's jay's cat again with the moogle attack and there's Pamst! They're the best looking pup here! Please type in exclamation bless to help the team! Help the team with their final strike! There goes Valkyrie, blessing the team! Big damage! Big damage on the final strike! But not quite enough! Everyone, thank you for helping out Team Jin! And Jin, thank you for the raid! I appreciate that! And... GG on, <laughs> GG on getting 
um, closer to the end of the prologue. You have this too. Ah, okay, let's do it again. <laughs> let's do it again. Team Chin is not out. They're gonna go one more time. Chin, thank you for the seven months of continued support. Wow, seven months. Thank you. Nice fight, nice fight. Alrighty, once more for Team Chin. Please type in exclamation join to help out the team. <laughs> you used your your once a month um, save ability. Jen wants to win. I think so too. Ready? Mina san, gambari mas. Let's do our best, everyone. There's the dragon. Here's Team Chen, led by Chi, Turquoise, and Valkyrie. There's Ude san, they're the best looking pup here. They're also raiding in, too. There goes the pants mini mog. <laughs> Ude san, arigato saimasu. There goes the celebrity blast. Critical hit, it's very close. Please type in exclamation blast to help the team with their final strike. There goes, I think, a Hollow Knight. <laughs> There's a Hollow Knight. No, so close. <laughs> so very close. But not quite enough. Everyone, thank you for helping out Team Chin. Team Chin, thank you for the seven months of support. Thank you. 2 HP. Ah. <laughs> Oof. Ure-san, reido arigato gozaimasu. Nyanpasu. <laughs> Nyanpasu, Ure-san. Thank you for the raid. Utsukari Samadeshta, thank you for your hard work. Ure san, Ure san no ato wa arigato saimas. Look at this. Look what Ure san made. It's so pretty. <laughs> Look what Ure san made. <laughs> so pretty. She did a great job. She made this for us to do our collaboration a little bit later in the week. So cute. Banyanpasu. Welcome in everyone from Ure-san. Nyanpasu again, Sora-san. Gamu-san, Nyanpasu. Napuringo-san. <laughs> Join. <laughs> Nyanpasu, Napuringo-san. Turquoise, Ure Raid. Something else, Nyanpasu again. Ah, <laughs> Ink, Ink, thank you. Thank you for the 12 months, a whole year. Wow, a whole year. Thank you. Thank you for the whole year of support, Ink. Do you want to play the RPG? Tamujiji san yanpasu. Slayer, wah! Naburinga san yanpasu. Ji san yanpasu again. Ink san yanpasu. Ryan san yanpasu. Sora Roy bot. Ah, Sora Roy. Not bot. Sora Roy. Sora san. Arigato saimasu. Okay, I'll put that on. <laughs> Sora san. Arigato saimasu. Thank you for the sen. sen beetles. Sen beetles. Arigato saimasu. <laughs> Nyanpasu minasan. Edu. Edu san. Nyanpasu. Furi furi. Hirebion san. Nyanpasu. Goblin. Wah. Another raid. Chance. Aurora. Kuma Hoshino san. Nyanpasu. Mm, so close. It was celerity. Nyanpasu now san. Nyanpasu. No, that's you, a slayer. That was you in there. <laughs> you are the the um um the Hollow Knight. <laughs> There's so much happening. Level ninety two hype train. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the level ninety two hype train. Ure san yampasu, reiro arigatozaimasu. Thank you for the raid. Thank you for your hard work. How was the rest of your stream? Thank you for this very pretty artwork. I really appreciate that. Thank you for making our promotional image. Foro arigato saimas. Thank you for the follow. Nice fight, nice fight. Goblin san yanpasu. The Hollow Knight was Slayer, I see. Mm -hmm. Velvet nyanpasu. So cute, kawaii. Very pretty, so pretty. Yay, collaboration. 
かわいい。So, so cute. かわいいですね。Very cute. ウリさん does very cute artwork. <laughs> thank you, ウリさん。ありがとうございます。Ink again, thank you for the 12 months. We can play the RPG after I catch up. <laughs> All the RPGs. Soru-san, again, thank you for 1000 bits. Sen, sen bitos, arigato gozaimasu. Wow, months of ink. Yeah, we're gonna play. Zio. <laughs> cheer, cheer. Cheer party, cheer. Muyagi, thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you. Mm hmm, better, better. Level 92! Achan-san! Hello, welcome in! Konnichiwa! Yiddishai! Illusion Owl Pamps, it's me! <laughs> Yosh! Ah, Chi! Chi, you too! Chi, thank you for gifting us up to Achan-san! Thank you! Enjoy the emotes, Achan-san! Courtesy of Chi, thank you, Chi! Mm-mm. Thank you for introducing me to your painting. No, Ure-san, thank you for painting it. It's so cute. I love it. It's so cute. I can't wait till we play together. You love how these chair party cheer all formed a perfect line. They did. And yes, um, I'm, I'm still catching up. But folks, if you don't know Ure-san, again, she made this really pretty artwork. And she and Sora-san are going to be collabing with me uh, a little bit later on in the week. It'll be Friday. Uh... The 15th for those in Pacific time zone. And it's going to be on Saturday, the 16th, for those in Japanese time zone. I hope you come support us as we play Operator Side, which is a PS2 voice action game. We will use our voices to tell Rio, the woman in the middle, what to do. <laughs> We're going to ask her to help us. Hi, Tori. Welcome in. Mm -hmm. Your friend's nose is so wiggly. Yeah, very wiggly. <laughs> but yes, please check out Ure-san. She is a very sweet person and does a lot of beautiful artwork. She also does traditional watercoloring painting as well. And she plays games like... Um, uh, I'm trying to remember the snow bunny name. It's uh, Snow. Snow is... Um, Usa, Usa's bunny, snow bunny. How do you say snow? Snow. Mm. She plays a snow bunny game recently, an emo mushi. <laughs> dance, dance. Yes, very cute art. Ure-san's art so cute. And Sora-san's been playing some Exit Eight, as well as. Super no doggy world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Yuki, Yuki, yeah, Yuki Usa. I think that's what the name of the game Ure-san was playing. Yuki Usa. Or Usa Yuki, one or the other. It was like Snow Bunny. <laughs> You're gonna be playing Lifeline. It's a unique game. Yeah, I actually hold the world record in Lifeline for... Um, 100% as well as uh, elevator percent. But um, this will be my first time playing it with my friends. <laughs> mm -hmm. You can't wait. Yeah. I hope you all will, will join us for it. Really? Mm -hmm. Yep. It's one of my favorite games. Let's play the RPG for um, Ure san and Ink as well as Chi. You have world records in speedrun? Yeah, I have several world records. <laughs> Thank you for the flex. <laughs> Thank you for the flex. Let's go play the RPG. Alrighty, this is for Team Ure-san. Please type in exclamation join to help out Ure-san. May you all defeat the dragon and win Ure-san in illustration. Enjoy your lurk, Chen. Thank you for the raid again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, last call. Please type an exclamation join to help out the team. And then we'll do it again for Ink and Chi. We need an owl line where we guide owl with a series of barks to the finish. <laughs> Pam's it's true though, I do. Huh. <laughs> Slayer. Nice join, good join. Sora is gonna give the experience to Chi. I don't know. Alrighty, Minasan, Gambari Mas, let's do our best. There's some chicken. There's the dragon. Here's Team Ure san, led by Ink, Chin, and uh, Daisy. There's Jay's cat. They're the best looking pup here. Aurora. There goes cats as cats. They're not your average fogs. Aurora. There goes Leafeon. They're the best looking pup here. Type an exclamation blast to help the team with their final strike. Oh. I recognize that. <laughs> Is that Shinomu's on? No. That was someone else blessing the team. Ah! <laughs> it was so close, though. So close. Very, very close. Everyone, thank you for helping out. Team Ude san. And Ude san, thank you for the raid. Redo arigato zaimas. Otsukari sama deshita. Thank you for the artwork as well. Thank you. You know? Better, better. It was a good try. GG, GG. GG, nice fight. Nice fight. He's too powerful, Mr. Barbecue. <laughs> We're gonna go again for Team Ink. GG. GG, nice fight. Alrighty, this is for Team Ink. For supporting the channel for a whole year. Please type in exclamation join. If two dogs are fogs, would two cats be cats? Maybe. Quite possibly, Rudo. <laughs> Let's get him. Minasan, Gambarimas. Let's do our best for Team Ink. There's the dragon. Here's Team Ink, led by Valkyrie, Mwirgi, and a cutie. We got Rico. They're not your average fogs. There goes the Leafy on explosion. Big damage. Aurora. There's me! I'm the best looking pup here. Aurora. Please type an exclamation bless. Bless the team in their final strike. Use cheese cuteness. There goes Slayer, blessing the team. Oh, so close. So very close. Very, very close. <laughs> Everyone. Thank you for helping out Team Ink. And Ink, thank you for the, the 12 months of continued support. It means a lot to me. It's been a whole year. Whoa! I can't believe so much time has flown by already. GG, GG. Next time for sure. Alright. Once more for Team Chi. Nice fight. Nice fight. This is for Team Chi. Please type in exclamation join to help out the team. This is for Team Chi for gifting a sub. While you all join, I'm gonna get some water. Alrighty, last call. Please type an exclamation join to help out the team. Use cheese adorableness. 
Awesome raid. <laughs> Dino dance. Rolling dogs. Nice join. Alrighty. Here we go. Minasan, Gambarimas. Let's do our best, everyone. There's the dragon. Here's Team Chi led by Ude-san, Soso, and Slayer. We got the Pamst, Minimog, Blast. There goes the Rico Nut. Nut. Aurora. And there's Rico again. They're not your average fogs. Please type an exclamation blast to help the team with their final strike. Here goes Soroid Bot, blessing the team. <laughs> Save my cheek. <laughs> nuts. Nani? <laughs> it was close, but the nuts. <laughs> but the nuts. Everyone, thank you for helping out Team Chi. And Chi, thank you for your generosity and gifting a sub. Thank you. GG. GG. Chicken. <laughs> Nani? GG. Murase. Murasa. Murase san. Yirishai, welcome in. Nice fight. GG. Nice fight. <laughs> GG, kapow. Mm -hmm. Does the game take into account follow age as a stat? No, it does not. Mm -hmm. Arf! <laughs> I love this dog. I thought I could play card games with it. Hello, welcome in. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Lady with an apron. This church has been here for a long time. It's been here. Woof. It's been woof. Woof. It's been here. Woof. It's been here since before the city was even built, when this entire area was a forest. I don't know why, but this church became the festival of the hunt tradition. Nyampasu. Nyampasu. Woof. <laughs> it should. Oof! Holly, good to see you. I hope you've been doing well. The Padoru. Ooh, this is pretty. Look at that. The stained glass windows. Hmm. I can't really make out what's on them, though. It's been. Oof! It's been. Oof! <laughs> oof! Old man with a cane. Are you participating in the festival? I heard this year's contestants are all tough, so I don't think you have much of a chance. You're doing well for the most part? Good. I'm glad for the most part it's going well. It's always good to see you. Ooh. How are woof? You woof? Doing woof? We're doing woof. Okay, woof. <laughs> How are you, Chin? Did you get a good meal? Then <laughs> I gave you such joy. <laughs> Ivan or Belna will probably win again this year. The food is cooking. Ooh. Please talk with this individual. Cat. Originally, the people of Lindblum were hunters. The tradition of the festival began around that time. Oh, okay. They've, they've uh, sure changed a lot of things then. <laughs> the person's sleeping. This guy's name is Yalp. <laughs> A few days ago, you were feeling very homesick and thinking about the move a lot, but now you're much better. Good. I'm really glad to hear, Holly. I can imagine it would be, um, yeah, something that might take some getting used to. But you're getting there. You're doing it. You've been on the diet too long with bread and sugar, and it's destroying you when you eat some of it. 
Does that mean you shouldn't eat it? Wake up, Grandma. I swear, she sleeps everywhere. I'm guessing this guy's name is Rock. Mm -hmm. The founder of Lindblom, Sid I, was the winner of the first festival. Sid I built this church to pass on the tradition of the festival. Priest Theodore. The festival of the hunt is neither a joke nor a traditional pastime. It is a way of life. It draws on your deepest strength and redefines courage. Bread and sugar diet would sound odd. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> isn't there a whole diet about like, I don't know, uh, eating only fatty foods or something? Tummy, why? Dosh day, why tummy? Don't do it. Be aware. It was a no-carb and low-sugar diet. Oh, okay. I was like, yeah, I can imagine you just eating a bunch of sugar. That'd be kind of weird. <laughs> Definitely not healthy, having a bunch of sugar. And now you're trying to eat it, and oh, too much for you to handle. Maybe moderation? Received a leather plate. Can't really get anything out of this. Hi, Mr. Death. Welcome in. We've been looking for the synthesis shop. I think we'll eventually find it. Oh, beautiful, beautiful building. I forget what they call that up there. I think it's called a, um, a, a floor? Floor de lis or something? It's uh, this thing right here this symbol. I've been seeing it around a lot in this uh, this kingdom. Please go down the ladder. Thank you. Does Grandma want to play cards? She does not. What about you? You want to play cards? <laughs> Grandma's never gonna wake up. Let's play cards. Okay. You think that's what it's called? Oh, the Fleur de Lis. Yeah. It looks really pretty. The mural looks cool. Too bad the scaffolding obstructs the view. I was thinking something similar to Muergi. I was trying to figure out what was painted both on the wall, as well as what was, uh, uh, I guess it's not painting for stained glass, but whatever was, um, put into the glass. Thank you for the head pets. A traditional symbol of France, is it? It looks really cool. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Oh no, I go first. Uh, <laughs> not great. This would be the strongest one. Oh, unfortunate. Oh, so brutal. So brutal. Yeah, 
What is R1 name? Oh, Fang. Okay. <laughs> Why do I need to know this? <laughs> okay, sure. I don't think we're gonna win. It's looking pretty dicey. Sorry for my dog. Mm -hmm. Give me a break, dude! <laughs> this kid's too good! Okay, I had to just hope for a super victory right here. This thing. Probably. It didn't work out very well. I tried. That was my YOLO move. It didn't work out. No! Can I battle anything? This guy. Right here, right here. This is it. We gotta win. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> no, my goblin and my fang and my fang and my goblin. Wait, what rules did you have? Why'd you get to take all of them? I don't get to take all of them. I only get to take one when I play. Why did you get to take all my cards? Last time I played against other people, I only get one card. Not my goblins. I'm sorry, goblin blaze. They got taken. You turned into a wolf? No, I'm a blue dog. I was in my illusion form earlier. What to do? Maybe I'll throw this one down. I wish I didn't have to go first. Or... <laughs> this guy's cards are so brutal. I can put any of these really. This one was really strong. I kind of want it. I'm just worried we won't have a good chance. Not really great. I was thinking about putting it here, but he could try to challenge me from the corner. We're looking, Cerulean, we're looking, trying to make sure I don't lose my cards again, because I lost a bunch. Mm -hmm. 
with the cards. Meowni! Nyampasu! Yes, the RPG. Alright. Let me let me put this card down and then we'll we'll do the RPG really quick. <laughs> Thank you for the eleven months, Meowni. Um We'll just have to see. Yeah, it's pretty dangerous. Actually, it should be maybe okay right here. Thank goodness. Left a car to take. I guess this one. Maybe because he wiped out all my cards, he took all my cards. Because I don't get to take all his cards. Or all the ones. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. No, no, no. Please leave. Yes. Alright. Let's go play the RPG from Yali. Mm -hmm. It's for Team Yali. For supporting the channel for 11 months. Please type in exclamation join to help out the team. May you all defeat the dragon. And when Meowly in illustration. The pizza pop. Nice join, good join. Please type an information join to have all the team. Mina san, ganbarimas. Let's do our best, everyone. There's the dragon. Here's Team Yali, led by Cutie. Oh, got another Cutie and Pamst. There goes the Cabal Moogle attack. Another Cabal Moogle attack. And J.A.'s cat. They're the best looking pup here. Aurora. Aurora. Please type an exclamation blast to help the team with their final strike. Fun. <laughs> the fire. It's you, Goblin. It's you. There's Meowly blessing the team. Oops. Oh, big damage. Big damage on the final strike. Not quite enough. Everyone, thank you for helping out Team Meowly. Meowly, thank you for the 11 months. Wow. 11 months of continued support. Thank you. I appreciate that. And then, kind of better. Ah, it was so close. Oof. Nice fight. Nice fight. Thank you, team. Yeah, nice fight. Mm. No, rigged! Meowly, no, not rigged. <laughs> rigged denied us. I was trying to observe what was on the the um, depictions here. But it, it looks like there's maybe a, a red knight over there on the second picture. I'm not really sure about the others. The dragon is over leveled. No. We cannot play the piano. Alrighty. That little kid is a menace. He took all my cards. Oh, I didn't notice that. There's um a clock in the uh a pendulum. Clock pendulum in the um the building right there. Mm-hmm. Received a tent. I just took someone's tent. I can't believe I, I lost all my cards. It's okay though, it's okay. We'll get more. Although he did take some pretty good cards. Mm. Mm. 
All right, we'll do a little save and then we'll go take the, uh, the air cab. I think it was this building. Yes. Let's go to hmm the industrial district, I think. I think the theater district is where they want us to go, but I want to look around a little bit more. <laughs> there it goes. Making those air cabs required a lot of effort. I nearly lost my arm during the construction. Uh oh. That's a little concerning. This is really pretty. This uh, tile work. I like that one. It's nice. Attention all engineers. For the safety of the passengers, do not carry any equipment into the air cab. Air cab management. Hmm, okay. And then the coin. <laughs> the tile. Isn't that pretty? This one right here? That's a really nice looking pattern. This one's okay. I think this one's really pretty. Actually, can I go over here? Nope. Should you eat it? Don't eat it. <laughs> it says exit up there. That's cute. It's not very accessible though. If you could not walk on the stairs, you'd have a problem. Oh, the kitty. I cannot interact with it. Received a leather wrist. Bid the Eighth developed the first mist powered airship in seventeen sixty two, led the airship Armada in seventeen seventy one, and brought peace to the continent. Passed away, 1780, in honor of my father, Sid the Ninth. I wish we could get a better look at their faces. They don't really show it to us. <laughs> this guy's name is Honk. Can't pet the cat. Zero out of ten. Dang. I just wanted to pet the cat. The region built a statue when Sid the Eighth passed away. Jacob. Most engineers are weird. Why is that? <laughs> what? Marlo. Hey, what do you think? In the front. In the back. What? Think about what? Uh, front? No, putting it in the back would be more effective. Putting the engine in the front provides more stability, but less power. That's right, you're a smart guy. Nobody believes what I say. Putting the engine in the back results in more power. Okay. Oops. Would that really matter? <laughs> Engineering makes you weird. Wait, would it really matter where you put the engine? 
Most engines, I think, are in the front of cars, aren't they? Why are STEM kids so weird in <laughs> Final Fantasy dialogue? <laughs> Relocation notice. The store has moved to Falgar Plaza in the business district. Shopkeeper Dragoose. This is amazing. You can't find architecture like this anywhere. This regency is so advanced. It looks like there's a shop here on the right. I don't know if I can access it. It doesn't appear so. They make the whole place look so massive. Widget. Sid the Eighth, who developed the first mispowered engine, had a pet cat. Since then, a lot of engineers went out to get cats. I have my own too. Her name is Gypsy. Aww. Are you an anteater? There's another cat up there. Oopsie. Today's special, Dark Stew, one of our classics. The Doom Pub. Oh no. Oh, the heck was in that dish? Rupta. Guess what? When I grow up, I'm gonna become an airship engineer. I'm gonna build a really big airship so I can go everywhere with all my friends. Aw, that's sweet. <laughs> I love that it's with all my friends. Aw. Received a bronze vest. Oh, really? Jelly! Ooh. <laughs> Doom. Doom was in was in the uh, <laughs> the soup. Oops, I meant to do ability. Deal gill along with items. That's cool. Prevents poison and venom. Oh, there we go. Prevents petrify and gradual petrify. And <laughs> just become jelly. Receive gill even when running from battle. Oh, okay. I don't normally run from battle, though. I should do this one. We can be jelly, like super belly jelly? Maybe. Oops. Okay. Alright, really quick, folks. I need to take my dogs out, so I'll be right back. Please take this moment to get up and walk around. Go stretch your paws or get yourself a snack or beverage of your choice. We'll be back momentarily and I will see you very soon.
Alrighty, thank you all for your patience. Ison, welcome in. Ison, dance. Ison, dance. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. We're all out of dark stew. Grandma's been busy selling her pickles lately, and she hasn't given me any attention. Sometimes, I think she loves her pickles more than she loves me. This guy. Okay, Irina Sai. Arigata Saimas, Udi-san. Nimim? Pero, pero. Tadaima. Thank you for the welcome back. Nimim? Pero, pero. Airship Engineer Daily Report. Hildegard 2 construction postponed. The prototype steam engine on board Hildegard 2 is inoperative. The engine problem stems from errors during the manufacturing period. Hey Zidane, good timing. I just came up with a new dish that I wanted you to try. Uh, no thanks. I'm full right now. Oh yeah? That's too bad. <clears throat> Pardon me. You just like power bills, I know. They can be really brutal. <laughs> Moscow. Ah, nothing like an icy cold root. Nothing like an icy cold root beer after a hard day's work. Ludruff. You know what this is? You're not gonna believe it. It's a steam engine. It's still a prototype. The house gets hot as heck while this baby's running. That's the only problem. Okay, Eri. Ah, I son. Welcome in, I. I hope you're doing well. I'm getting thin from sweating so much. I was trying to talk to the cat. Ooh, a mimic card. Nice. You doing okay? Thanks for asking. Oh, I'm glad. It is she. How's it going? Going all right. Um, I've been exploring the town and looking at all the little details. I really like all the pre-rendered backgrounds. I feel like they have a lot of uh, intricacies. <laughs> This game also has a really cool thing where they have hidden points of interest and you can look for them like this. I enjoy looking at things like that. I think we just about looked at everything in the town, though.
This kingdom is very big. Marianne, air calves are convenient, but I wish they looked more stylish. It looks so mundane, just like everything else in this town. Nice, yeah. It's been really fun. Nice and relaxing. Welcome to the theater district. Just so you know, air calves run non-stop around the clock. Good day. Air cab servicing four districts, business district, theater district, industrial district, Lindblom, Dis Lindblom Castle. Working to make your travels convenient, air cab management. Looks like I can go out this way. Oh, I guess not. I guess that's just a wall. Hmm. Oops. Steam engine. You wish you lived somewhere with round the clock public transit? It'd be cool. It would be cool. Also, Tiger, welcome in. I'm lost again. Where is the princess? The town is big. The castle is big. Why does everything have to be so big? Pardon me. Can you tell me where I am? What? You're lost? Gee, you're a soldier for crying out loud. This is the bridge that connects the castle and the airship docks. You think that Steiner is jealous of how big everything is. <laughs> Now that building, that big building in front of us, houses the docks. Hello, Tiger. Welcome in. Ooh. I mean, this is pretty big. What? What is that large airship? Amazing, isn't it? It's the Hilda Guard, too. Since it is equipped with a steam engine, developed by the region himself, it can fly around without mist. Impossible! How can it fly without being powered by mist? What cave did you just crawl out of? This is the age of steam power! The source of steam power is water. It's much safer than mist. <laughs> A bright future awaits us all. I really like anything that has um Steiner because his voice is fun to do. His um Diction for the character is really, really fascinating to me. My wife is cr a crazy Lowell fan. I tell you, she acts like a child when she talks about him. <laughs> I'm just a big fan, that's all. But my husband gets so jealous. Thump thump, thump thump. <laughs> what the heck? Oh no, I'm sorry, birdies. Pigeon lover. 
I like to come here and feed the pigeons. That pigeon belonged to Sorasan. Oops. Pigeon turd alert. Uh oh. Received 127 gil. Our game is really popular right now, especially in the theater district. Almost everyone here plays. You don't say. Oh, this is so pretty. I'm guessing we have an artist in here. Lindblom Exhibit. The 50th annual Lindblom Exhibit. This year's winner gets to paint on the church walls. Received ore. It stores HP. It cannot be used on the field. It radiates a mysterious light. Aspiring artist Michael. I'm looking forward to the festival. I'm going to use the festival as the theme for my next painting. Welcome in. Welcome in, Raiders. Zero, how was your stream? What are we up to? Raiders, how was the stream? Yay, a raid! From Seru. You are playing Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. Ooh, fancy. Retro game. Actually, I don't know if the Wii U counts as retro <laughs> just yet. Probably, right? It's kind of old. Maybe not yet. It's the Cerulean Wave Dino Dance. <laughs> Seru, thank you for the raid. How was your stream? How was New Super Mario Brothers U Deluxe? And for folks who don't know Seru, please check out Seru. They like to play a lot of retro games and um, they have a really chill vibe over there. They were recently trying to uh, do some challenge battles in Star Ocean 3 and now they're playing things like Super Mario Brothers U Deluxe. They also do some video editing too, so please check out Saru and go give them lots of love. Nom nom, better better. Dino dance, dino dance. <laughs> and for anyone new from Saru, welcome in. My name is Alan. I'm a blue healer, and I like to voice act. Today we are playing Final Fantasy IX on the PS1, and I'm s slowly making my way through the kingdom. It was interesting. You never played before the Switch. Or for the Switch. But you had it for a few years, hoping to play with someone. Did you get to play with people? I imagine it might be a little difficult for if it was on Wii U. But you say it's on the Switch. Hmm. Also, Saru, do you want to play the hour RPG? Play. 
This is for Team Cerulean. Please type in exclamation join to help out the team. May you all defeat the dragon and win Seru an illustration. You're sure that maybe some people could play with you if you have the game. Did I understand you right that you're saying that this game exists on the Switch? Or... Uh... I think that's what you were saying. That they ported it to the Switch? Oh, okay. I didn't realize they they made um that port. I've always just assumed a lot of things just sat on their original consoles. It's two games in one. Oh, I see. Ready, Minasan? Gambarimas? Let's do our best. Nearly every good game on the Wii U got ported to the Switch. I didn't know that. I mean, I don't, <laughs> I don't really play very much on the Switch except for uh, Splatoon. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of Wii games got Switch ports. I really didn't know that. I know they had the um, Virtual Console, and they were showing off things like, uh, you know, some of the Game Boy Color games. But yeah, I didn't know they had the Wii U games there too. It has both new Super Mario Bros. U and Super Luigi U, so you read on the back of the case. I didn't even know there was a Super Luigi U. <laughs> Super Luigi U? What? There's the dragon. Here's Team Seru, led by Turquoise, Gongusan, and Mugi. There goes Leafeon. They're the best looking pup here. Aurora. There's Rico. They're not your average fogs. And there's Jay's cat. They're the best looking pup here. Aurora. Please type an exclamation bless. Bless the team on their final strike. There's Napa in the sun, blessing the team. Oh, big damage. Big damage on the final strike. Not quite enough. Everyone, thank you for helping out. Team Seru. And Seru, thank you for the raid. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. I hope you had a lot of fun playing the ported version of Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> deluxe. You deluxe. <laughs> it was a good try. Good try. Nice fight. Oof. Pretty much the only game of relevance left that hasn't been ported is Xenoblade Chronicles X. X or 10? I imagine X. Xenoblade Chronicles X is stuck on the Wii U. Is it similar to Xenoblade Chronicles from the Wii? I have this feeling that Xenoblade Chronicles games build into each other. I don't know if they're all direct sequels though. GG, GG, PN, so sad. Pizza Pop. Xenoblade Chronicles X is kind of its own thing. So I'm guessing they don't bring in characters from the, uh... I only played Xenoblade Chronicles for the Wii. I haven't played, uh, I guess two or three or whatever. Yeah, I haven't played those. Lucky Color and Company. We deliver lucky hearts to you every day. Hey, this is a place where I can go buy my yellow heart or gem. Member number 28. She's late. What's Marissa doing? Oh, heck. What the heck? Are you okay? What happened? Member number 36. You're going to see Lowell too? Uh, no. Who? Maybe, yes. You know, I'm not surprised. Even if I were a guy, I'd still be in his fan club. He's so great. Yeah, I don't think he'd want to see you either. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> It's not story related, but Xenoblade Chronicles X plays similar to the other games. Yeah, they were fun. Magere, welcome in. 
Xenoblade, Chron Xenoblade 2 is kind of its own thing as well, as you can say, but probably more related to Xenoblade 1, just a bit. It also has mechs, which you think is unique. Hmm. You must try the Xenoblade series. Ah, Gamu-san. I played, I played the original Xenoblade Chronicles, I guess, 1? It was on the Wii. Yeah. Or, yeah, yeah, it was on the Wii. I remember playing with the Wii Wiimote. <laughs> I played with the Wii Wiimote until I got a different controller. Hmm. Next, two and three. Yeah, they would be fun. I spent a long time <laughs> on the original. I figured there wouldn't be anybody here. The first one I played, I think uh, Seru found out that I put at least 200 hours into it. It looks like no one's been here for a while. What to do? What to do? Oh, don't lean against that. Jeez. Is that late already? I wonder what Dagger's doing. You only play just a little bit of Super Mario game. You thought after completing the first two stages of the game, it would auto-save the progress. That was not the case as you found out when you exited to the main menu. So basically you made no progress. Oh no! No auto-saves. But now you can speedrun it. <laughs> You're like, no. The first Xenoblade can be easy to sink time into. Oh yeah, I definitely did. I wanted to do all the side quests. I did probably, I don't know, like 90% of them. Maybe 85 or something. I did a lot. I even came across the super bosses and then they stomped on me. They were fun. <laughs> it's okay though. There you go. I like that. That's the spirit. Jeez, is that late already? I wonder what Dagger's doing. Active time event. What can I do? A bell's ringing. A performance in the theater district must have just ended. You're trying to focus on the main story for Xenoblade 1, so you can move on to Xenoblade 3 eventually. Oh. As Ink would say, one of these days. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> you can do it, Seru. I believe you. A bell's ringing. A performance in the theater district must have just ended. Is there anything you need, your highness? No, thank you. I'm thinking of going outside and having a look around. I'm sorry, your highness, but we cannot grant this request. Right now, there are many people coming into Limblum for the Festival of the Hunt. Therefore, things are quite chaotic in the town, making security rather difficult. Also, very few people know of your presence here. It's for your own safety. Please understand. Okay, I understand. I can't stand sitting around like this. I didn't come here to be protected. I just want to help Mother. Leary use. I told you he'd be here. Why didn't you tell us that you were back? We're in Tondalus too, you know. What? Yeah. 
Uncle Baku said that if we find some treasure, we can be in Tantalus too. Yeah, check this out. Wow, those are Trick Sparrow's wings. That sure is some treasure you found, all right. <laughs> Yay! Yippee! <laughs> Yippee! So, uh, did the plan work? Yeah. Princess Garnett is at the castle. Really? Wow. So, what's she like? Is she cute? Did you ask her out yet? Uh, no. I think she's pretty busy. Plus, she's a princess and I'm a... Well, you know. So, I don't know. I bet she misses you. Yeah, you should go see her. Good luck. See ya. I wonder if she got to talk to Sid. Maybe I should go see her. Yoki-san, you just shy. <laughs> would I want to go for a ride with the car? Wait, would I want to go on a ride with the windows down? Depends. If it's cold, no. <laughs> I want the windows up. <laughs> Nyanpasu! Nyanpasu, Yoki-san. 68 gil. 282 gil. Nyanpasu! Nyanpasu, Tuisan. 97 gil. That is a ginormous axe. Received mini Burmesia. Mini Burmesia. It's the most coveted piece of the famous, what the heck is this, Triptyke? It's the most coveted piece of the famous Triptyke. You never seen a rare item. A rare item? Hmm. Moogle's flute. Hey, let me touch that red bonbon looking thing on your head. Huh? Yoki-san, thank you for the hundred bits. Yaku, Yaku, bitos, arigatasaimasu. Thank you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A triptych? Really? Mm -hmm. And a good pop? Okay. Tui, you're a good pop. Yes, you are. Nope. Mm -hmm. Trip Tish is how you've heard it. Trip Tick. They are usually three paneled paintings, really? Oh, Baku sleep talking. Hey, let me touch that red bomb bomb looking thing in your head. <laughs> Mini Bermesia. A Trip Tick. Trip Tish. Hmm. Maybe it's both. Yeah. Kubo, Goop Goop, Koopa Po. Po? Koopo, Koopo Po. Chomp Chomp. Koopo. <laughs> what the heck? Aries, the story of 12 zodiacs, the 11 zodiacs pondered. How best to capture Virgo's heart? Aries headed east. Hmm. This sounds like a puzzle to do. Continental map. The road remains wide open while your dreams are alive. Only fear can block the way. Iron tail, Fratley. Silver pendant. The national treasure of Alexandria. This pendant has a jewel in its center. I was just looking at this wondering if this was safe. It seemed a little dangerous. A potential fire hazard. Cute, so cute. 
Your favorite painting is actually a triptych. It's called a triptych inspired by the Oresteri, Oresteia. Inspired by the Oresteia of Ashlis. Ah, uh, I don't know how to say this word, sorry. Ah, uh, Ash, Ashilis by Francis Bacon. I've always appreciated when games give you different audio cues for the material you're stepping on. Like, you can hear the wooden plank, and also the, um, the metal, when I hit the metal somewhere. There it is. Oh, another one, yes! Baco and his crew. Some of the painting names are things you don't understand, and others are just screaming man in a square cage. They made it out. Ah, no! Mm. That tasted good. I can't believe we found a way out of the evil forest before we got petrified. It's all thanks to our bro, who pointed out the river before he took the map to Zidane. What do we do now, boss? We gotta save our brother. You're right. But first, we'll let the guys outside drink some water from the lake. Sinna, bring them over! Hey, about Blanc. I think it's better that Evil Forest stays petrified. Are you serious? Don't get me wrong. I ain't saying this out of concern for our safety. Then, why? I'm sure he wouldn't have... I'm sure he wouldn't want to be saved if it meant evil force was going to be restored, too. You're right. We gotta start looking. There's gotta be another way to cure his petrification somehow. We ain't too late. We gotta do what we can. I got you, boss. Hey, Senna, what are you doing over there? This spring water might take... This spring water might make some good coffee. I'll get the fixins. Do I gotta remind you what happens to members who don't listen to their boss? No, please, not that. I'll bring over everyone right now. Skywalker Sound worked on the sound effects in this game. So many people don't wear shirts in Final Fantasy. He's got a vest on. You're back. Welcome back, Shinji. Okayari. Weigert Memorial Theater downstairs. Dire Dire Fox, welcome in. Wagard Memorial Theater. We proudly present Moogle Wannabe 2, performed by Zalwick's company. The company that gave a stellar rendition of I Wish I Were a Chocobo. Lowell Bridges plays Ubobo. Ubobo. If you had to choose between watching the musical Moogle Wannabe 2 
or I wish I were a chocobo, which musical would you choose? I kind of feel I wish I were a chocobo might be really fun. You would watch I wish I were a chocobo. Yeah, you love musicals. Me too. They're really fun. The last musical I saw, um, it was years ago though. The last musical I saw many years ago was, um, uh, it was called The Prince of Egypt. No one actually wants to be a Moogle. <laughs> you would watch I Wish I Were a Chocobo. Yeah. Is it because it says Moogle wannabe? <laughs> Or, or is it the idea of like what could happen in Moogle Wannabe? If it's not, it's not Moogle Wannabe One. It's Moogle Wannabe Two. So you know the first one must have been a success. You've been listening to Hamilton, and you really love the soundtrack. Based on the cartoon movie Prince of Egypt, uh, it might have been. It might have been. Maybe everyone's into Chocobo Transformation more than Moogle Transformation. Maybe. I mean, you could run fast and, you know, climb mountains, run on water. What's not to like? Sold out. Lowell Bridges. Moogle Wannabe 2 sold out. Well, good thing no one wanted to watch it. We can't even watch it anyway. Moogle Wannabe 1 doesn't exist. It's a trap to draw people into two. No Moogle love here. <laughs> they all love the Moogles. Man, the outside looks cool. Number number three. Oh, Lowell. Fan club chairman. Stop pushing. Hey, who are you? Who am I? I'm Sir Zidane of Tantalus, the greatest band in the world. Uh, I'm guessing that's the, the chairman. Have you ever heard of him? No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Go away! Stop bothering us! Ouch. Hurry up! Where's Lowell? How much longer do we have to wait? Please, he'll be here in a minute. I love you. <laughs> Hold my hand. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Oh my gosh, I'm going crazy. What's so special about him? <laughs> he sounds jealous. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness, that lady's going crazy. Thanks. I love you guys. See you all again. The Moogle. Ouch. Dang, I can't see a thing. Thank you for coming to see Wannabe Moogle. I mean, Moogle Wannabe too. K Koopo. Oh no. We don't care about you and your stupid show. We came to see Lowell. Yeah. Hey. You're... No, I'm not. I am. <laughs> what? Who is this? Oh, is that really him? Poor guy. It's tough being popular. I should know. <laughs> I should know, but they don't know him. Do you think you'll come out again? Oh, I'm so in love with him. I still haven't given him my cookies. I can't wait to see him again. <laughs> the Moogles are evil. Who? <laughs> Tell that Moogle. They weren't being very nice. We don't care about your Moogle. <laughs> but doesn't he play the Moogle? I thought they said that. I thought they said he plays the Moogle. 
Oh, well, well, who the heck is you, Bobo? Is you, Bobo the Moogle? You're you, Bobo. Wait, is it you, Bobo, or U Bobo? I think I said U Bobo earlier. Big Moogle just walked by, heading towards the station. He looked kind of dizzy. <laughs> me Bobo, you Bobo, me Bobo, they Bobo. You were at the theater. Oh, please, don't tell anyone about this. Please, I'll give you this. Received autograph. Thanks as always, Michael. Jeez, I can't find... I can't finish my painting when you bother me every day. Come on, forget about the painting. Let's work together. You can express your artistic talents on stage, too. Don't ever compare your acting with my art. If you're done with your business, get out of here. Fine. What a waste of talent. I wouldn't get involved with him if I were you. You want to play cards? Okay, I'll take that as a no. Receive a Moogle suit. Oh yeah, I'm gonna put that on. I wanna be Moogle 3. Oh dang, I can't be Moogle. Autograph. Boa Bridges. Born in Trino, raised in Lindblom. Famous for his masculine charm. Starred in Moogle Wannabe 2. Moogle Suit. Oh, it's so well made. The fabric is nice too. Little Ilya would love it. Eh? I can't have it. Ooh, I want to go give it to little Ilya. Let's do that. Hmm... I guess they don't want you to go inside the theater. Actually, I have the, um, 
I should double check. I have his autograph now. Maybe I can use that to talk to the fan club people. I guess not. Yes, we can go to the business district and do a little save, and then we can go to the castle and check on Princess Dagger. Let's make our way to the castle. <laughs> it has these tiny little wheels. Soldier. Yumpa Su, Professor. Uh, the year ship dock and the year cab terminal beyond here are secure, uh, sir. Mm. Did you hear about that airship? The one that came in from Alexandria? Yeah, I heard there was a really cute girl on board. <laughs> Sorry, only authorized personnel can use the lift.
He's still sleeping. This is a restricted place. Alright, I guess we'll go visit uh, Garnet. You got better from the flu, but if you're still weak... Oh, I hope you get some more rest soon. Sorry to hear you're feeling ill. What are you doing here? You? What have you done with the princess? Where is she? Whoa, take it easy. I just got here. The princess is gone. She was supposed to stay in this room. Maybe she went out for a little walk. How can you be so calm? This is a very serious matter. Have you forgotten all the danger she faced just to get here? What if something terrible happens to her? What am I doing here? I must go find her. Out of my way. Maybe she left us a note. Oh, there's no notes. Can I help you, Koopa? I wonder where she went. That song. I've heard it before somewhere. That sweet voice. It's Dagger. She's upstairs. Did she go out the window? get up the stairs. What the heck am I thinking? Daggers upstairs. Ugh. I might have missed. Oh, man. I gotta get past this guy somehow. Maybe if I disguise myself as a guard, he'll let me through. This guy? Hey, wake up! I just saw a suspicious character wandering around. What? Well, where? Upstairs. Follow me. <laughs> hey, wake up. 
No, in here. <laughs> All right, you bad apple. Show yourself. Hey, what are you doing? That was easy. <laughs> that was easy. Good day, sir. Oh, it's still restricted? Come on. They should be able to get in on the lift now. Good day, sir. Good day, sir. S sir, uh, uh, all is well, sir. What the heck am I thinking? Dagger's upstairs. I just want to talk to people. I like how I took out my I took off the outfit. You, what do you think you're doing? Wake up! How dare you sleep on duty? Whew, that was close. If I get any closer, they'll be able to see me. Oh, I should have went back into the room. So goofy. I want to see if that guy was on the floor. What, a girl? Oh yeah, I saw her go upstairs just a while ago. I can go back down really quick. I meant to go back into the room. Ah, oh, dang. Oh well. I was curious if they covered the edge condition if I walked back into the room where we took the man's armor. That song is very peculiar. The birds love it. He looks so sad. Nice song. <laughs> nice song. My friends, you are awestruck. Soros friends, the Hathos. <laughs> How did you get up here? This is a restricted area. Come on, I do this for a living. Oh yeah, you're a member of Tantalith. It must have been easy for you. Ashisan, gee, Mwirgi, gee. 
Darren G, Sorosan G, Awesome G, <laughs> Sir William G. Dagger is actually a princess. She's been a princess the whole time. What a view. Hey, there's a telescope. Let's go check it out. Come on. Hmm. Use the D-pad to move the telescope. Birdies. What are the bird? Oh. Oh, birdie. Wait. Wait, I saw something. Yeah, that's cool. That's actually really smart. They use the birds to kind of guide your eye about what to look at. That's really smart. So many things to look at. Let's start here. Marshland. There's probably a lot of weird things living there. There's probably a lot of weird things living there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> If Lawrence Fish Lawrence Fishburne is a uh, Bowery King and John Wick, does that mean Sorosan is the Bowery Queen? Maybe. There's probably a lot of weird things living there. Maybe I should check it out sometime. Arab's Mountains. Those are the mountains that surround Bermessia. I guess the best way to get there is to go through the cavern at the base. South Gate. Oh, there's the south gate. I wonder if they started repairing it. It'll probably take a while to fix everything. Herb's Mountain. Alexandria is beyond those mountains. I bet they're looking for us. Hey, there's a chocobo. Maybe I can catch a chocobo in that forest. Ebal, Seabell River. That river flows through. That river flows right by South Gate. You can get to the gate by walking along the river. Let me see. How's the view? It's so much trouble for everyone. Uncle Sid knew everything. That's why he asked Tantalus to get me out of Alexandria. No matter how hard I try, I'm always a step behind in everything. I'm so helpless. What's wrong? Zidane, why did you help me come here, to Lindblom? Is it because your boss ordered you to? I just wanted to help you, that's all. 
the boss didn't agree with me. So, I ended up leaving the band. Really? I'm sorry. Uh, don't worry about it. It isn't the first time I've left. Zidane. Yeah? Oh, um... How are you planning to abduct me? We were gonna put you to sleep with some sleeping... Sleeping... Thing, yeah. And then kidnap you. It's mostly used for kids, but a big dose can knock out an adult just as easily. I guess you didn't need it since I came along on my own. Hey, would you mind giving me some? I've had a hard time sleeping lately. Um, I don't think that's a good idea. You might start having problems. Maybe all you need is some company, eh? Sleeping herbs, yeah, there you go. Cerulean got it. We were gonna give you some sleeping herbs. Well, can I have the sleeping herbs? Nah, I don't think you should have them. Y you might have a problem if you keep using them. Oh, please. Do you think I'm that naive? <laughs> Can't blame me for trying. Um, th that song. Were you singing it in the village of Dolly? Yes. So you were up that night. What is that song anyway? I don't know. I can't even remember where I learned it. I sing it whenever I feel sad or lonely. For some reason, it comforts me and reminds me that I'm not alone. I guess it's a mystical song. Let me hear it again. Hmm. I never expected to find such fine armor in a place like this. <laughs> this is the armor that Z Zidane said was a piece of garbage. Yes, I'll buy that one too. Who knows when that brawn will need another war? What? Who knows when that brawn will start another war? What? The Queen would never start a war! You dare speak ill of the Queen! Oh, I guess this is a... I can't tell what that is, like a giant beard? Who the heck are you? I'm, uh, an armor collector. Oh, well in that case, can you recommend some good armor? I... I must go. <laughs> Filippo. Go, Knights of Pluto, yeah! Poncho. What are those things? They look so stupid. I'm gonna take Sid's airships and destroy them. Hey, cut it out! You broke my knight! I'm gonna go tell your mom. No, come on! Royal action figures. Royal action figures? And <laughs> Steiner, you blockhead. Hatsushio san, irishai. Nanem, better, better. Those black mages were like toys. Being controlled by someone.
The sky looks ominous. The sky looks ominous. Something's about to happen. Sir Fratley, where are you? I need you. Okay. It should work now. Sire, it's no good. What? We can't stabilize the engine system. It can't run for more than ten minutes. Darn it. My mind hasn't been the same since I became an Oglop. Hey, Dagger. So, when do you want to go on that airship cruise? What are you talking about? What am I thinking? I asked the girl at the... Never mind. Now that is a mustache. Sid has a ginormous mustache. A good pup already. Darren, you're a good pup. Yes, you are. Nope. What am I thinking? I asked the girl at the... Never mind. Well, it sounds like you've asked the wrong girl. Wait, I, I can explain. Why bother? Go have a wonderful time. Oh, man. Nim nim, pet pet. Okay, how about this? If I get first place in tomorrow's hunting festival, you and me will go out on a date. How does that have anything to do with me? Come on, please. Fine. Okay, it's a date. It may be tradition, but this is a dreadful festival. So many lives lost every year, especially because of him. Hardly. A festival is a test of manhood. I tingle with excitement every year. This is the last carriage. All the preparations for the festival of the hunt are complete. Very good. Now we wait for the signal. You can actually see his face, unsurprised. Hey Eve, welcome in. A date. <laughs> Zidon got called out <laughs> for being um uh a little mischievous, I suppose. Oh no! Whoa! Yes, sir. The babies. The fangs have been freed. What? We haven't even received the minister's authorization. We believe that they're going to release him any minute. All right. Release the must before they let him loose. Hurry! They're so cute. All is ready! Alright, stand by. This year's specimen is perfect. Nothing can stop him. <laughs> what power! 
Hey, make him stop. It's too early to let him loose. How? I have no control over him. Darn it. Open the gate at once. The gate's gonna fall apart. Go, Zang! Zagno, go! Where is he done? Please, Princess. You might actually enjoy it. Okay. I wonder if Zidane was doing something I couldn't read enough. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. Alright, let's begin. Festival of the Hunt. Hunters, on your mark. Ferocious beasts swarm the castle town. The bigger the catch, the higher the score. Festival of the Hunt. The time limit is 12 minutes. Use air caps to go to other districts. Once you lose in a battle, you'll be forced to retire. The winner will be crowned Master Hunter and receive the Hunter's Reward. Who will come out on top? What do you wish for your Hunter's Reward? I'll go with Gil all the way. I'll take an add-on. And you, Mr. Vivi? What? I, I never signed up. I thought you would do pretty well, so I signed you up. Don't worry. With your black magic, it'll be a piece of cake. I... I don't know. That was very inconsiderate of you, Zidane. Oh. How about this? If you win, I'll fix you up for a date with Dagger. Me and the princess? Shh, keep it down. What was that? You just mentioned the princess. What evil deeds are you plotting now? It's nothing, right, Vivi? Y yeah. So, what would you like for your reward? Oh, um... I'll take a card. Okay. Gil, an add-on, and... a card. The festival will begin shortly. You all have different starting points. Hunter Zidon will start in the theater district. Hunter Freya will start in the industrial district. And Hunter Vivi will start in the business district. Oof, I don't get to equip them. You think this is one of the mini games like the rope skip at the beginning? Maybe. Seems like it'll be fun. I always like a good little challenge. I was watching Droogle the other day do the rope skip, and it seems like there's a different strategy for it. He specifically turned off the music so he could hear when Vivi would step on the ground. And it seems like he was pushing the button when Vivi steps on the ground, as opposed to waiting for the uh, QTE. So that was interesting. Your starting point is the theater district. You'll need to make an... You'll need to take an air cab to get there. Mm-hmm. 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 I wish you good luck in the festival. You had better hurry if you're going to participate in the festival. Go to your starting point.
when they took away the boat or the um the flying ship. <laughs> The air cab bound for the theater district is now departing. What if I don't make it? Alright, really quick, because it's a 12 minute thing, I'm gonna go to the washroom, so I'll be right back. I'll see you all very soon. Thank you all for your patience. We just saved, so let's see if we can do this hunt. The speed run, no Sephiroth, I'm, I'm washing my paws, no! It's a new, not a new record. <laughs> Thank you for the welcome back. Tonight, ma. Pera pera. Such rudeness, princess. They are treating you like a commoner. I'm not trying hard enough. I'm trying. Can't speed run a date. <laughs> Such rudeness, princess. They are treating you like a commoner. Oh, hush. We get a great view from here. Hmm. You're right. I can see the entire town. Princess, look! Master Vivi is also participating! I can't believe it. He seemed reluctant earlier. Master Vivi! The princess and I are rooting for you! Come on, Vivi! You can do it! And <laughs> they're a little dancing. You can do it! <laughs> you can do it! No, Master Vivi! Look out! Oh gosh, I can't watch anymore! You can't win just by running! 
A good offense is the best defense. Attack! You can't lose that monkey is a don. Yes! That's it! Now's your chance! One more time! Vivi behind you! Yes! Go! He's really into it. Oh no, I got time. I gotta go. Vivi's already winning. What do you say? Good hunting. Okay, bye. I gotta go. Eat Vivi monsters. No. Help. I'm trying to help, but I, 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 I couldn't read. I'm sorry. I don't think I made it. Speed running a date by biting the suitor. No. Where am I? Great Scott, help. I'm helping. I'm sorry. I got a little confused where I was. I guess we're not stealing anything. We're just going for attack. Come on, Zidane. We can do it. Gotta win first place, even though I wasted 30 seconds. Man, the time's gonna go by real fast. You know, it might have behooved me to change the battle time to go fast. Janeiro's leading. Where did these wild bees come from? I almost got devoured by one. There's a bird up there. Are they inside here? There's no time to relax. Get the bird. He was the pigeon lover. Can I hit this thing? I don't think I've seen this before. That wasn't worth it. I should just attack. I couldn't help myself. I didn't know what he had. Oh, he has fire. It's a problem. He's very cute looking. Ooh, he does a lot of damage. That's dangerous. You love the pigeon lover. Great, Scott. He's still winning. can't help him. How do I get in there? to steal, even while on timer. I couldn't help it! He might have had something rare. It might have been one of those only once. I gotta find more fangs. Those are good. Vivi's winning! Go, Vivi! Go, Master Vivi! There was one bird up here. Come here, birdie. Go, Vivi! What do you mean, boo, Vivi? I thought you loved Vivi. Chirp, chirp. <laughs> oh! <laughs> pretty, pretty. Locked. They said I can travel to other places. I guess this is my starting zone, so I should go somewhere else. Uh, maybe industrial? 
Hurry, vroom vroom, let's go. Please. It's not vroomy enough. Baby's winning. I'll help you, little kitty cat. Kitty. Meow meow. I thought that was a person, a big person running to me. I was like, hey, you okay? Go free ya! I mean, she's gonna get an add-on, I guess. If she wins. This thing is so cute. It's not very nice, but it's cute. I gotta take a moment to heal as well. it's worth hanging around for the birds. On one hand, I want to destroy every animal, but I feel like time-wise, I should go to the next town or the next uh, district. The bird, I think, only gave me one point, so it wasn't really worth it. Too good. How do I get out of here? I don't remember how. <laughs> come here, come here. Dang it, you ran away. No, not the bird. This thing's a waste of time because it gives me one point. And it does a lot of damage. It's not nice. Well, I just want to win. I want to win. I 
we get a critical hit. He's too good. Bang, bang, bang. He's too good. What the? Hey, big boy, turn around. Hurry up. Dang, you ugly. Okay, but I get to finish him. I got a, a date. I got a date. Hurry. I only got so much time. Fine, as you wish. I want to steal from it, though. Electric you? Uh-oh. Will that hurt us if we touch it? I don't know how much HP this thing has. I'm gonna run out of time. to go restart it because I got lost. The time is up, and the winner is Freya with 139 points. 139 points. I wonder if Vivi can win. He gets a card. That was marvelous, all of you. Now do it again to see if you can actually get there faster. We can... he can win? Freya and Vivi? Vivi can indeed win. Maybe you just don't do anything, you just sit there. Why, Risa? I want to destroy the monster. I'll just go there the first time and go get rid of it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's a specific condition to make Vivi win. It's probably called sit, and <laughs> sit around and do nothing. I also want to steal from the monster too. So I'm going to try to complete whatever... I don't know if I could just start and then just leave. So now that I know don't waste the time on the birds, no point in stealing, I'll just attack, attack, and then we keep moving. You don't think the, sp the monster spawns immediately? I don't think so either, because I need to do, um, I think I need to clear a little bit of my, uh, my own zone first and then move over.
Nico, welcome in. Yampasu. I also spent some time getting a little bit lost when I was transitioning between the zones, so I lost valuable seconds. Strange Gourmand is in the lead. Oh, maybe I shouldn't bother with this one. This one wastes a lot of time as I wait for it. Yeah, when I was waiting for that one down there, I had to wait like, it felt 30 seconds for it to spawn. Although, I don't know if I need to help the man. I don't know if I need to help people. Like, if I don't help them, if they have a bad time. Fast. He's winning! Monjo, welcome in. Welcome in, Raiders. How was the stream? What are we all up to? Welcome in, Raiders. Johnny and, um, Jato? Jatothek? Sorry, I'm in the middle of a timed mission, so. <laughs> welcome in. Uh, Zero? And Manjo, thank you for the raid. I appreciate that. How's your stream? What are y'all up to? <laughs> cheer party, cheer. OD, welcome in. You're playing some Final Fantasy IX as well? Hope you have a lot of fun. <laughs> Darren gave you the referral. Oh, Darren, thank you. I appreciate that. Manjo, would you like to um, share more about yourself and what you like to stream? I'd love to give you a shout out. I apologize, I'm a little bit, um, distracted. I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to win, I'm trying to win in this, uh, timed event right now. Mm -hmm. J to the, uh, C, oh, well, J, hopefully that's okay. Welcome in. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I need to go business. Mm -hmm. Usually, um, nine funsies. Hi, Waffles. Welcome in. Your voice is great for streaming. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jay. 
Thank you for the hydrate. I'll do that after the battles. I want to see if I can try to win. <laughs> Thank you for the head pets. Don't do it, Brady. Don't do it. Dang it, the bird always comes. <laughs> also, for the hunt, you got this. Thank you, Manjo. You love JRPGs? Oh. Well, folks, if you want to meet someone who loves JRPGs and one of their favorite Final Fantasies is actually this game, you check out Manjo and give them lots of love. They were last playing some Final Fantasy IX as well. Mm -hmm. They say possum meat tastes like chicken. I don't know about that. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. And for anyone new, welcome in again. My name is Albin. I'm a blue healer, and I like to voice act. We are playing Final Fantasy IX for the first time on the PS1, and um, I'm trying to win in this festival. <laughs> Sephiroth, thank you for gifting a sub. That's so kind of you. Do you want to play the LRPG after? Also, Manjo, um, I have this mini game I made that um, celebrates people who raid in, as well as gift a sub or subscribe themselves. And if you win, you can win an illustration for me. Would you be interested in playing after the uh, the festival? <laughs> I'm about to not make it. I didn't notice my HP. Oh, thank goodness it missed. I need a heal. You wanna play? Alright, Sephiroth, we'll do it after the festival. <laughs> Cue the PS1 startup screen. Let me heal, because I almost did not make it. Ray is too far ahead. Mm -hmm. Mal doesn't have time to properly rig the dragon. That's not true. There's no rigging. I don't have the time because I only have four minutes. Four and a half. I should probably heal. Rhea is your favorite character in Final Fantasy IX. She's look she looks really cool. Mm -hmm. I should try the dragoon. Hey, we got some mithril go gloves. That's really nice. Ouch. Some artist. I try to have a nice cozy vibe here, yeah. Freya is also your favorite. She's very strong. this work? I'm about to sleep, but you gotta go to bed. No worries, Watkins. Thank you for joining us. Have a wonderful rest of your evening and sleep well. I'm getting messed up. Five o'clock? Oh, please get some rest. Rest well. Wow, 
this thing has a lot of HP. Thank goodness. Mm -hmm. Good night and good luck. Good night, Watkins. Take care, sweet dreams. That monster must have been the clincher. Forget it, there's no time to be shopping. Are you little kids okay? Jeez, your friend is strong, Zidon. She's so cool. Meow Mix, welcome in. We have one minute to try to do something. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, welcome in. Thank you for the follow, welcome in. Thank you for the hydrate, I'll do it after um, <laughs> the event is over. Hopefully we get a critical hit. Meow meow. Ouch. I really wish I could have stolen more from the, um, the beast. Hopefully we'll find another one. I got you, BB. I don't got you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't get him. Huh. Hi, JD. Welcome in. How am I? I'm doing well. How are you? Oh, 10 seconds. 10 seconds. It was so close. <laughs> I couldn't save BB. I tried. You just got home and had a very long day. I hope you have a good day. Welcome home. I tried, Monjo. <laughs> 200 points, amazing. Congrats, thank you. Alright, let's go play the RPG for um, Sephiroth really quick. And, um, Manjo, did you want to play too? All you have to do to play is just say yes and hang around a few minutes. Nicely done, thank you. Alright, cool. We'll play for Manjo and then we'll play for Sephiroth. This is for Team Monjo. Please type in exclamation join to help out the team. May you all defeat the dragon and win Monjo in illustration. Beep boop beep boop. <laughs> nice join, good join. Last call. Please type an exclamation join to help out the team. Let's do our best, everyone. There's the dragon. Here's Team Monjo, led by Meow Mix, a cutie, and Monjo. We have Rico. They're the best looking pup here. Here goes the J.A. Moogle attack. Aurora. And there's cats as cats. They're not your average bogs. Pew pew. Please type an exclamation bless. Bless the team on their final strike. Aurora. Here goes a cutie blessing team. Big damage! Big damage on the final strike! But not quite enough. Everyone, thank you for helping out. Team Manjo! And Manjo, thank you for the raid! And Darren, thank you for uh, introducing us together. 
Oh my goodness, and she thank you for gifting us up to Darren. Enjoy the emails, Darren. <laughs> oh my goodness, and Liqua. <laughs> Liqua, thank you. Good evening. Thank you for the 12 months of support. The Pizza Pub Village, it's okay. Not your average one. Fogs. They're, um... It's a, it's a mythical creature. <laughs> Fogs. <laughs> it's from a game called Fogs. Alright, let's play for Sephiroth next. Whoop. Whoops, one second. There you go. This is for Team Sephiroth. Please type in exclamation join to help out the team. May you all defeat the dragon and win Sephiroth in illustration. Manjo, oh my goodness, thank you. Thank you for the 100 bits. That's really kind of you, thank you. I really appreciate that, thank you. Mm hmm, hit a Liquid, do you want to play? And she as well, do you both want to play the hour RPG? <laughs> that was pretty cool, thank you. I did the programming and art myself. The music and sound effects are open source. You play today? It's okay? Okay. Thank you, Chi. <laughs> it's so cute. Thank you. <laughs> Ready? For Team Sephiroth, let's do our best. Yes, please. Alright, Liquid, we'll do it right after. Minasan, gambarimas. There's the dragon. Here's Team Sephiroth, led by JD, a cutie, and Mr. Barbecue. There goes the cat's Moogle attack. And there's cats as cats again. They're still not your average fogs. And there's cats as cat again. <laughs> it's the best looking pup here. Dewey, thank you. Oh, that's Darren in the middle? It's Darren. Tiger, thank you for 300 bits. Everyone, type an exclamation bless. Help the team with the final strike. Big damage. Big damage. But not enough. Everyone, thank you for helping out Team Sephiroth. And Sephiroth, thank you for the gift sub. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> we'll go to Team Liqua. GG. Nice try. GG. Attempts were made. Alright, this is for Team Liqua. This is for supporting the channel for 12 months. Wow, a whole year. Liqua, thank you. Nice join, good join. everyone. Let's do our best to win an illustration for Little Fool. Pizza Pop, Pizza Pop. There's the dragon. Here's Team Liqua, led by Tui, Chi, and Meow Mix. There's me. I'm the best looking pup here. There's Pamst. They're the best looking pup here. And there goes the Cabal Moogle attack. Aurora. Please type an exclamation bless to help the team with their final strike. Siokumi-san, Irishai. There goes Liqua blessing the team. Oh, so close. So very close. But not enough. Everyone, thank you for helping out Team Liqua. And Liqua, thank you for the 12 months. Wow, the whole year of support. Thank you. Thank you, team. Good work. Nice try. GG. I feel like we had one more person, but maybe I'm mistaken. <laughs> oh my goodness, there's stuff happening. <laughs> Mirgi, thank you. That's really kind of you, too. Thank you. Thank you for the 100 bits. Oh, it was... Okay, that's everyone. Thank you. And <laughs> thank you all for the level 91 hype train. <laughs> thank you. 
You know what else is close? New Year's. It's true. When stuff happens, stuff and things. <laughs> stuff happened. The time is up. It's now time for us to see what happens. Thank you. <laughs> the winner is... Zidane! With 200 points! Date time, date time. Maybe. I just wanted to win. <laughs> I didn't really um, mind the date thing. That was marvelous! All of you! 200 points! Congratulations! We grant you the Master Hunter and your reward received 5,000 gil. Although I kind of wonder if Freya getting an add-on would have been better. Received Master Hunter. Congratulations, Don! Went back to Vanilla Al. There was no difference. I've always been here. 200 points closer. <laughs> Can you borrow 17 million gil? You gotta buy this legendary sword. If you can find someone willing to lend it to you. I do not have 17 million gil. Hate to wait and run, but it was nice meeting you. We'll be lurking. Thank you again. Manjo, no worries. Thank you again for uh, your raid and for, for um coming over. It was really nice to meet you too. Have a wonderful rest of your evening and sleep well. Good night. Thank you. Take care. You will go ahead and say that Freya has the best reward by a country mile. Mm. You also need to buy legendary boosts to make your turn speed come up faster, I see. I think there are people who say that the add-on is the most optimal prize to receive at this point, but I don't think it matters in a casual run. Final Fantasy IX is pretty casual friendly, so Gil is just as good as a prize as any other prize you can get. I just wanted to win. <laughs> I wanted to win. Although I kind of wonder what card Vivi would have gotten. Thanks. Regent. Remessian soldier. Please forgive my intrusion. I bring urgent news from our king. The king of Bermessia? Sire. You must not let him see you like this. Take a good look at him. An injury has blinded him. Continue. Our kingdom is being attacked by some unknown force. We are severely outmatched. Please, send reinforcements immediately. The enemy looks like an army of mages wearing steeple crowned hats. The king and I are old friends. We will send reinforcements to Bermessia immediately. Thank you, Regent. The king and all of Bermessia will be most grateful. I must return now. <sighs> Take him to the infirmary! It's too late. He's gone. It's a miracle he even made it this far. I can't believe this is happening. This is a problem. Because of the festival, there are hardly any men left in the castle. It will take time to mobilize. Nobody thought to heal them. We have no choice. Call back the 4th Aerial Division patrolling the border. 
that if we recall the fourth, we will lose our eyes over Alexandria. Quack, quack. Burmesia is our ally. We must help them. Deeple crowned hats. They might be black mages, like Vivi. Rest in peace. We can't be. Could it be Mother? I must go now. I cannot sit and wait for the reinforcements. I'm coming with you. No. This doesn't concern you. What's this? I'm a stranger all of a sudden? I'm not gonna sit back and watch your home get destroyed, alright? Thank you, Zidane. Um, can I come too? I want to find out who they really are. Sure. All right then, let's go to Bermesia. Princess, this is a foreign matter. It has nothing to do with us. Steiner is right. We don't know if Alexandria is involved. But if black mages are involved... Zidane, you know what I'm talking about. If Mother is behind this, I'll make her stop. I promise. I think you should stay here. What? We don't know what to expect there. I've already faced great danger coming here. What's the difference? Dagger. This is war. A lot of people are not going to make it. I know that! How did you feel when you saw that Bermessian soldier pass just now? I felt sad, of course. Just sad? Weren't you scared too? Obviously, you haven't realized how dangerous it's going to be. You... you could get really hurt. This is no time to be talking about convincing your mother of anything. But... Now's not the time to argue! He's right. We must head to Messia at once. Will you open the Dragon's Gate? Of course. If you're going by foot, Leaving from that gate is the best way. Let us eat while... What? Well, wait for the gate to open. Loving the voice acting. Thank you. That means a lot to me. Thank you. Now does some wonderful voices. Thank you, too. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at all that food. It looks good. Yay! I'm so hungry! The Festival of the Hunt Feast is one of our oldest traditions. It began well over five centuries ago. Dude, the cake looks great. It is customary to eat everything with your hands. So go on before it gets cold. Thank you, Uncle. Are they going to wash their hands? Mmm. It's so good. Let's just eat. We can't do anything until the gate opens. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. You're right. Hey, not bad. You gotta go, but it was nice to meet you. Looking forward to your future streams. Odin, thanks for hanging out and for coming along in the raid. 
take care and, and um, have a wonderful rest of your day. It was nice to meet you too. Well, you know a gate is a chore if you can have a meal waiting. <laughs> take care, Odin. See you later. Nobody thought to heal him. You want to know who slices so many black olives for pizzas and salads? I don't know. Hey, not bad. This is wonderful! Princess, how is everything? Why aren't you eating? Oh, I'm sorry. You're right. Everything is so delicious. Indeed it is. Especially this beef. It is superb. Oh, I'm so full. I'm getting sleepy now. What the? The food is poisoned! How could I be so careless? I'm starting to feel sick. Forgive me, princess. I should have tasted it for poison. That's impossible. There shouldn't be any in your dish. What? Now that you mention it, I feel just fine. How did you know? Princess. You didn't! It's not poison. It's just a medicinal herb Zidane gave me. Believe me, this was not what I had planned. Steiner, how could you? Poison. It's not poison. It's an herb. <laughs> Garnet was the final boss all along. <laughs> it's not Garnet. I'm Dagger. I'm trying really hard. <laughs> Steiner. I have to make my own decisions. I had no choice. Uncle Sid would never let me leave the castle. That is because he is concerned about you. I understand, Ooh. but... No, you don't understand. War is a terrible thing. You must never experience it as I have. I'm sorry, princess. I cannot follow any orders that might put your life in danger. Nani? What if Alexandria is behind the attack on Bermessia? It could lead to war between the three great nations. Many innocent people will perish. As the princess of Alexandria, there must be something I can do. I have to help Mother. I don't want to see anything happen to her. Very well. Princess, I will follow you wherever you choose. Thank you. Let's go before everyone wakes up. I'm sorry, Zidane. Come on. Dagger, where are you going? It must have been some sort of sleeping medicine. It was sleeping herbs. We 
have been had. I gave her some because she said she was having problems sleeping. I'm impressed. There's more to her than meets the eye. Darn! What the heck is she thinking? Maybe she's heading to Vermessia. Then you might still be able to catch up with her. Vivi, wake up! We're going to Vermessia. The what? The Giza Maluk? Let's head for the Giza Maluk's grotto. Once we pass through the grotto, we will be in Vermessia. Did you know that Alan is only one dog tall? Yes. <laughs> Teehee. <laughs> Teehee. <laughs> you love the Nine cast? They're so much fun. I really like... Whoever did the um, localization did a fantastic job. I haven't, I haven't like seen anything that seems out of the um, ordinary or out of placement. It all reads very smoothly. Mm -hmm. You're reading Garnet Garnet. No one would recognize her that way. <laughs> Vivi is so pure. He just wanted a card. Let's head for the Gizma Luke's Grotto. Let's head for the Giza Maluk's Grotto. Once we pass through the Grotto, we will be in Bermessia. You can leave from the Dragon's Gate, located on the base level. What? The voice acting for these nightcares is so spot on with the charm. Aww. <laughs> Nut. Then head for the Giza Malou's Grotto, as Freya said, to go to Bermessia. Ooh. Favorite armor of Sid, the Six. Crafted by Gabriel, Court Blacksmith. Favorite shield of Sid, the Fifth. Crafted by Fabrizio, Court Blacksmith. Favorite bow of Sid the Seventh, crafted by Andrea, the court boyer. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling so sleepy after eating this donut. It almost feels like someone put some sleeping herbs on it. Oh, thank you. I'm awake. Mmm, yummy, thank you. Thank you for the hydrate, I will do that too. Nap time. <laughs> Pudding, welcome in. How am I enjoying nine so far? I'm enjoying it a lot. Um, I was sharing with others earlier that I really enjoy looking for these like points of interest where I can read about things and get just a little more lore. And I love all the little details in the pre-rendered backgrounds. It's very charming to look at. And on top of all that, all the characters are so much fun to voice act. They have really believable dialogue. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you feel about claymation video games? You mean like Clay Fighter and Clay Fighter 64? They're cool. I know there was another old one on the PS1. I forget what it's called. Hylix. Maybe that's the one? Is that the one on the PS1? There was one with a very um odd character. He looked like he had a, a, a ponytail. Yeah, the backgrounds are really good in this. They are, Zio. They're so pretty. Like, I love all these little details. 
I know people have been teasing me that it's very pixelated, but you can still make out the what it is, you know? Like, you can see each of these little, um, like, uh, I don't know, divots or something, or dimples right here. I guess they're poking out, they're protruding, but you can still make it out. It's really cool. And I love that the characters look at each other um, when you walk by. The heads turn and watch. It's cool. You are not permitted to enter the royal chamber. Like, it looks so massive. The conference room is just down the hall. The royal chamber is upstairs. It's pretty recent. Oh, then I'm not familiar with that one. Skull Monkeys. That's another one in the series that you can remember what it's called. Skull Monkeys might be the one I'm thinking of putting. Was it a PS1? And um, the guy kind of looks like a... Almost like a... um, uh, Those inflatable dudes that hang around car sales places. They kind of look like that. And he has like a long ponytail that goes up vertically. And the characters blend in with the characters too. Yeah. Nobody looks like super like even the NPCs, they look um, you know, they look like they had love. They don't look like <laughs> here's a a bland Joe Schmo, right? They look like their own people. And some of them even have names, which I was surprised. Rylex's main character has a head shaped like a moon. I don't know if I've seen it. The background's... Ah, I know, look! Look at this! Isn't that cool? What a cool design! There's just so much of it. And they're very pleasing, too. Like, this archway? Look at the arch! They didn't have to put all these little, you know, um, banner-looking things, like this tortoise shell pattern, but it's cool. That's part of the charm back then, too. The nicer CGI were something to look forward to in the rewarding parts. Oh yeah, absolutely. Lion's pre-render BG is amazing. It's beautiful. And I love when they have subtle um, animations. Uh, I'm not seeing anything right now. Well, here, like the flames, right? The flames in these um, lanterns. They're cool. It's just subtle, but it's nice. The wacky inflatable tube man. Kinda, yeah. It looks really funky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it might be skull monkeys. The dragon tapestries. Yeah! They're cool. What you meant to say was the characters blend in with the backgrounds. <laughs> Your brain skipped while typing? Hmm. Maybe my brain skipped while reading. <laughs> the subtle lamp flickering. It's cool. Or like when they have sun rays going through the window. I like that too. The steam there, it's cool. I've always loved seeing pre-rendered backgrounds have a little bit of animation like like this right here. Even this, whatever this thing is. I think it's a, like a phonogram or something, or I don't know. I don't know if I could yell into it, but you know. Hold on one sec. Darn it, I can't find the screw. Oopsie, I didn't read that. You gotta take pride in whatever you do, you know what I'm saying? I'm sorry, I should have taken pride to read what you said better. My job's pretty simple, but the lift won't operate without me. <laughs> I was hoping I'd find the screw for him. Your personal favorite is all the gears everywhere. The steampunk vibe is strong. Absolutely. For you, the best looking background in a PS1 game was Sphere Effect. Every single pre-render was animated. Whoa. I don't think I've seen... I definitely did not play Fear Effect. It might look like we're fooling around, but this is still one of our posts.
This is the best place to be on duty. Like, even here, all the foliage. That's something I feel... I, I miss seeing this kind of detail in backgrounds. Some of the newer games that I've seen, everything's 3D, which is also really cool, but they don't normally have this kind of high fidelity um, of detail. Really nothing up here, huh? I'm surprised. Like, everything here looks fairly, you know, ancient or lived in. Some I feel in some newer games that try to put a lot of detail with 3D objects, they, um, they end up kind of looking, um, a little samey or plasticky. Unless you're looking at people or games that have, um, I don't know, like, uh, a lot of texture, <laughs> a lot of textures to download. yelling at them to make the water hotter. Heat of darkness is pretty good. Oh, <laughs> heat of darkness. Heart of darkness. Uh, I don't know if I know heart of darkness. Is that also a PS1 game? The guard pointy heads and helmets always remind you of Mon Monty Python Holy Grail. They kind of do. There we go. Oh no, I meant to use it. What's the mid-level? Oddworld is pretty amazing too. Oddworld has a lot of detail. I remember playing a, a demo of that. Who are you? I'm surprised you're allowed to be in here. I don't think there's any, any new um, dialogue, but I'm just doing a little check around. <laughs> new games saturate the market with the new stale textures, in your opinion. Not much age looks, um, uh, you think. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Should have seen um, Scribania or Paramonia in all world back in the day. They were very beautiful. For modern games with a lot of background details, Final Fantasy 16 is quite good. You spend a lot of time admiring the scenery there. Yeah, I um, I think definitely like AAA games like can do it really well, and some indie games do too. But there's also some games um, I feel like uh, I don't know. They just kind of look empty or something, you know. Oh, I need to check the, the gear out. <laughs> or they have the opposite problem where there's a ton of detail, but it's so in your face that I get kind of um, overwhelmed with how much detail there is because I guess there's no... Uh... You know how your eyes will naturally blur things on the edges of your vision so you don't really pay attention to it? But then on some games, they don't give you that, so you just get all this level of detailed information in your face. It's a lot. I'm sure you know what I mean. What are you wearing? I did get this. I kind of wish I did a little more stealing.
Oh, oops. Make sure I equip the abilities. You're pretty sure Heart of Darkness was a PS1 game. It was done by a guy who did another world slash out of this world, super animated. Huh, I never heard of it. The name sounds cool though. Enjoy the rest of the stream. Good night and catch you again soon. Miali, thank you for hanging out. Have a wonderful rest of your evening and sleep well. Oyasumi Miali, you may all. And then, better, better. Graphics realism is so good, it's practically normal slash white noise in game these days. The technology curve isn't as steep as it was 20 plus years ago. Mm -hmm. In 20 years, who's going to compliment the cool graphics? <laughs> the next thing technology curve is going to be, um, for you, you think AR, VR, and AR stuff. AI. I think, I don't know if I said AR. AI. Yeah. They've been trying to make VR a thing for a while now. Like from the 80s and stuff. I think AR has a really strong, um, a really strong potential in tabletop games. Oh, wait, wait, I'm sorry, I didn't read. Please talk. Oh, I read this. I'm just gonna do a quick look around the town in case there's any new dialogue. Tech makes displaying stuff easier, but it still needs artists designing it all. Absolutely. UI designers and artists, like, really matter for presentation and accessibility and readability. love to see VR have more games and stuff, but I think VR has this problem where it's kind of a chicken and egg. A chicken and egg problem that it's expensive for developers to develop. It's expensive for consumers to <laughs> purchase, right? They've made a lot of changes. Like VR, VR has been, um, I feel like old Margaret right now. <laughs> VR has uh, has been around since like the 80s, right? But the HMDs or the head mounted displays and things of those nature, the, the VR goggles, if you will, they used to be multiple thousands of dollars for a single HMD. And now you can spend a couple hundred for one. Pretty crazy. It was most original and creative. Hmm. You like VR, but it isn't comfortable to play for long. Yeah, there is a very interesting book by one of the, um, uh, he's credited as one of the founders, uh, of VR, but, um, uh, Jaron Lanier, he, he wrote, um, he wrote about how he thinks VR won't be a thing until people can go into virtual reality without knowing that they actually are using any peripherals. So the idea that you have things on your head that you can feel and weigh you down, things like that, he argues will always disrupt your immersion or the feeling that you're actually there in another world. AR is wild to you. You want a VR full body suit, full body integration into gameplay. I mean, they do have, um, they do have tracking devices, and you can definitely use precision point tracking uh, interfaces. But yeah, <laughs> it's uh, again to the point I made earlier. Um, you're always going to feel it because it's something you feel on you. You have to put on the suit. VR is really neat. I love it. I think VR is so cool. I, I really, really, um, I wanted to keep progressing. I think it's a really cool thing. 
Or you can spend multiple thousands and almost, um, <laughs> and almost go into sword art. <laughs> I don't know if I want to go into sword art online. <laughs> Just knowing what, with the limited knowledge I have of what happens. VR makes you dizzy. Yeah, VR can definitely do that, I think, especially if you have, um, um, drifting. Drifting is absolutely terrible in VR. You got a PSVR, and you liked it for a while, but you got headaches if you played it too long. Maybe higher quality equipment would eventually be better for that. Could be the equipment, could also be the the application or game you were playing. Um, you have to have... what was it? It's been a while since I read about VR in a while, but um, you have to have, I think, at minimum 6 to me 60 megahertz of like a refresh rate. That's extreme. You need like a pretty beefy computer. And then <laughs> you, some things to help mitigate headaches and, uh, you know, um, motion sickness involve, uh, remember how I mentioned about blurring the edge of your vision, like your eyes do naturally? They had to kind of do that in VR applications as well. I think one of the coolest things I've seen about that was when I was trying this VR game, it's about, um, climbing. It's like mountain climbing, but not really. You're like a virtual uh, fox mask, fox mask wearing individual, and you're just leaping through the air, ascending through all this cool stuff. They do this thing where they narrow your vision. So as you're making jumps and stuff, they they kind of uh, blur and black out things around your your uh, peripheral so that you can't get sick as easily. You have a meta quest too, ooh. Why about Omega Collection on PSVR Slaps though? <clears throat> Pardon me, I don't think I played that one. It's pretty neat how much you can do with just a quest too though, absolutely. Like, VR technology has become much more accessible, but it's still, it's still a pretty high, um, a high investment, I would say. Hello, baby. You won't need a suit when the neural bypass kicks in. Not the neural bypass! That might be a little too scary. Learning about slime trackers. Julie, mm -hmm. you can use a rumble pack. <laughs> you can use a rumble pack for that. VR does seriously deteriorate your perception of reality, though, but it's worth it. Whenever I play Beat Saber, I get so, like, out of whack in terms of how much time is passing, and especially, um, uh, especially just the idea that my, um, I know I don't blink as much, like, I need to blink more, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I'm just, like, staring open, like, yeah, get all the, get all the, um, the arrows, gotta do it. Nobody knew here. Nope. You want a full accuracy sword fighting game? They have some. Well, I don't know about full accuracy, but they have some. Some sword fighting games. Mm -hmm. Yes, baby. Sorry, my dog wants my attention too. <laughs> You have a quest one. Woof. You can do one hand and beat saber. You need to join a VR nerds Discord or something. Just immerse yourself. Woof. Please sell me the pickle. I was counting on having more sales. What with all the people coming to the festival? I've only had one customer so far. Only one. Come here.
No, I guess there's not there's not too much new dialogue. Only that lady. Mm -hmm. You wonder how hard it is to find a place in VR communities. I'm not sure, because to be honest, I I never explored that myself. Priscilla. Hey, did you hear? A theater ship blew up and crashed in Alexandria. There's been a lot of commotion in Alexandria lately. Okay. Master Hunter Zidon. Sir, if you need anything, please let me know. Darn it. <laughs> he wanted to win. Yeah, I'm having fun. <laughs> I don't make much selling pots, but I enjoy it. How about you? Are you enjoying what you're doing? Yeah, I'm having fun. No, this game sucks. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> You heard Bugenhagen. It may have been Bugenhagen, who was re reimagined as a uh, uh, Regent Sid, yes. <laughs> Noise canceling on. What happens if I say this? No, this game sucks. <laughs> Oof. Maybe you should go buy another game. How about you? Are you enjoying what you're doing? Yeah, I'm having fun. That's what I thought. <laughs> no, this game sucks. <laughs> Why would they put that in here? Sorry for my dog barking. Baby, please, it's too late to be barking like that. No, oh, heck. <laughs> Oof. It doesn't come through the mic as a wolf. It just sounds like being saying "wuh, wuh." I can tell you, it's not a "wuh." It's like "ugh." It's like super loud. I'm glad you don't hear it because it's very loud. Yes, baby. Woof. 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 <laughs> yes, baby. Woof. Woof. Yes, baby. Baby Doshte. My baby. She's she's being a little cute right now, but I think she needs something. <sighs> because she um she does the thing where she uh she touches my leg with her nose. <laughs> you look very cute, but I'm, I'm trying to play. She might need to go out, actually. Let me go see if she needs to go out. I'm gonna be right back. Because she's, she's actually being very gentle right now, which is unusual. Usually when she wants something, she'll very forcefully bop me with her nose. Be like, ow, ow. I'm like, ow. But right now she's like, hey, I want your attention. And she's looking at me so cute-like. Yeah, she's so cute. Okay, let me go take her out really quick. I'll be right back.
Really, thank you all for your patience. Let me catch up on chat. Slim, thank you for the raid. Welcome in raiders. How was the stream? What were y'all up to? Raid des, it's a raid. Cheer party cheer. You are playing some Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Ooh. Still enjoying it, hopefully. Hello, readers. How goes it? Dance, dance. Jam, jam. <laughs> Thank you for the welcome back. Tadaima. Thank you for the welcome back. You did it. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> Sephiroth, what did I do? Okayari, okayari, arigatouzaimasu. Tadaima, I'm back. Thank you for the welcome back. A good pup? Oh my. Shoop, you're a good pup. Yes, you are. <laughs> welcome in, Shoop. Good to see you. You know what you did. You got the world record. What? <laughs> no. I washed my paws, Sephiroth. I please, I swear. Thank you for the welcome back, Gamusan. I'm a good pup. You're a good pup. <laughs> You've been lurking, hanging out, taking out the baby. Yeah, she had to go. Um, <laughs> I actually uh, carried her downstairs just in case because um, I didn't want her. Uh, sometimes she struggles to make it <laughs> out the door because uh, she just can't hold it. So I had to carry her so she can make it out the door, which is why I'm a little bit out of breath because I was carrying her. <laughs> I carried her down the stairs. And then I was like, okay, out the door, let's go, hurry. <laughs> but yes, folks, if you don't know Slim, Slim likes to play a lot of retro games and um, was also recently playing some San Andreas. So I hope you will check them out and go give them some love. And for anyone new, welcome in. My name is Alden. I'm a blue healer and I like to voice act. Today we're playing Final Fantasy IX for the first time. And uh, I'm slowly looking around town, enjoying all the minutia. I don't think I've seen this. Michael Ball, welcome in. Slim, welcome back. Thank you for the raid. I appreciate that. How is your stream? Who would you defeat in a test of strength? A what? <laughs> what are we doing? Carried her down the stairs. Okay, I took you this far. You have the rest. <laughs> Throws the dog out the door. No, <laughs> Zio, I, I carried her down the stairs. She's a 50 pound dog, okay? She's like, well, technically she's 52. She's 52 pounds. And I, I had to carry her down the stairs, had to slowly open the door, unlock it all. And do the same thing, turn on the light, walk out to the grass, and put her on the ground. Ah! <laughs> the fire's too strong, watch out! I'm not watching! Soda! I wasn't watching! Is it okay? Soda, thank you for the six months of continued support, thank you! How are you? It's good to see you! Is your computer being better, hopefully? <laughs> thank you for the six months, Soda! Do you want to play the hour RPG? The test of strength is putting your palms together and trying to push your opponent off of their feet. Uh, well, the person who weighs more than one dog heavy will probably win. I am one dog heavy. Baby is 52 pounds. She's one dog heavy. The whole house is on fire. No, <laughs> the whole house is on fire. Oops, <laughs> with the rose soda. <laughs> Meanwhile, is this you? Is this you, soda? Oops, sorry. I gotta put my my dragons away. <laughs> the whole house is on fire. Wee. <laughs> well, yes, yeah, Slim. If you're still around, I know you were lurking. Let me know if you want to play the RPG. 
And thank you again for the raid, I appreciate that. It's a lot better. You're trying to get some new stuff to set um to set up and get back into streaming and whatnot. Oh, good luck, good luck. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> the fire, Uno. Oh my gosh, that's you! It is! That's you! <laughs> Alright, Taurus. The fire's too strong! How many times do I have to tell you? A few degrees can make the difference between a good weapon and a bad one. Imagine doing... Imagine going to a blacksmith for an upgrade and he melts your metal and says, Uh, I can fix this. Um, c come back later. <laughs> I, I think it would only be made worse, Shoop, if, if the, um... <laughs> if the blacksmith said, Oops. <laughs> it's like it's like going to a doctor, right? Oops. Oops. <laughs> what do you mean, oops? <laughs> I think I guess any professional you never want to hear the word oops. Use water gun to put out the fire. Squirtle, go. Squirtle, squirt. Use a lower flame and water gun too while you're at it. Wayne. Stop nagging. We got a customer. When is he gonna get it through his head? I somehow totally missed this area. Or maybe it was blocked off. Ooh, is this a little... Is that a little sewing machine? Or maybe, I don't know, it's a... Um... A pneumatic punch. It's actually probably a pneumatic punch. Oh, here's a synthesis. That's what I wanted. Oh, okay, they tell me. I thought I was gonna have to play around like Star Ocean item creation. But they tell me specifically what it is. Hmm. The last thing you wanna hear is, ooh, what the heck is that thing? You do love the idea of the blacksmith having a sewing machine, though. It would- it would be cute. Could be a jack-of-all-trades, right? Maybe it's like a heavy-duty sewing machine for leather or something. It looked like fabric on it, though. I wasn't sure if it was fabric or if it was, um, maybe sheet metal? Like a thin piece of, uh, uh, metal? Maybe he makes boots. Maybe. Added status, darkness, or silence. Silence sounds really nice. Hmm. I should make this. I only have two mage mashers, so I had to choose between Butterfly Sword and Ogre. I guess you can't really go wrong with putting darkness on, though. It's pretty good. Metal presses usually have a big lever overhead. They make armor, too, and sometimes that has fabric parts. That's true. Maybe a lining. You think sheet steel wouldn't be much of what a blacksmith deals with, as that's more of a foundry type thing. Hmm. This one is stronger attack. Maybe I'll make that. I don't know why this has, um... It doesn't tell me what the increase is. It's a little weird. Let's check it out.
Soul Blade. Sounds good. Hmm. I'll try the other one. Leather shirt. I was a little confused. It looks like this is an accessory, but then there's boots. I don't really think of boots as an accessory, but I guess. Real armor has padding. That requires sewing. Well said. Detect and scan. I can't learn these. Twenty-seven, twenty-two. Hmm. I guess anybody could take it, really. Flea Gill, I already have it. Oh well. Do I have enough? Sorry for my dog. No, I could do one more. Okay. Buckle protected by mysterious powers. It could be cool. I only have one glass armlet, though. What a cute shark. Thank you. The boots are classified as accessories. They are, but it's weird. I usually think of boots as their own category of defense, like greaves. Accessories, especially when they're showing a ring on a hand, seem like a ring, or maybe like an earring, a necklace, a bracelet. I do wonder about this. Do I have anything from the glass armlet? Let me see. I got nothing. So we're not doing that. Mm. Doesn't have any special stats. hard to give up. I think I'll wait on that item, at least for a moment. My dad means well, but he gets on my nerves sometimes. I think the bottom line is, he doesn't want me to take over the shop. Aww. Could also be he really likes his craft. <laughs> he likes the work.
Received silver gloves. Did I just take these from them? I want this too. Hmm. You wish to show what skills they teach. Me too. I wish that too. It probably is really good, I just have no idea. He has the potential, but he doesn't work hard enough. The fire is so hot, it could probably melt steel instantly. I mean, I'm sure it's decent. They wouldn't give you bad things, I think. I'm gonna wait till I get the bandit um, ability and then I'll swap out to the ogre. He doesn't work hard enough, sugar! Doesn't work hard enough. He just was trying his little best. Oh, this is the card kid. Yeah. The card game is deep. I wonder if I can go into the theater now. His name is Ku. Isn't he adorable? Hello, Koo. Those who are awarded the Master Hunter title must live up to the honor. What are you trying to say, man? I wonder if they have a special name, if that means I can play cards with them, but I don't think so. Maybe it does. Nope. Even Ivan Nyambasu, even Ivan and Kane, or even Ivan and Belna couldn't defeat Zagnol. <laughs> I'm gonna go watch the stream from the comfort of my bed and probably doze off. Sephiroth, thank you for hanging out. Have a wonderful rest of your evening and sleep well. Good night, Sephiroth. Mm -hmm. Peta -peta. Yum, Pasu Jade. Mm -hmm. It's 1.30, you may fall asleep as well. Oh my. It is getting kind of late, isn't it? I just want to see if there's any other new little bits of dialogue. I think I might be able to go into the theater now. Mm -mm -mm. Most of it's old. Go away. I'm trying to remember what I have to do. Oh yes, I had to go take something. I wish I were young again. I pulled some crazy stunts in my early days. My buddies and I used to go to this forest northeast of here all the time to catch wild chocobos. Northeast of here, you say? Okay. And we race through the plains, like the wind, with the girls cheering us on. Those were the happiest days of my life. I wonder if there are chocobos still living in that forest. Oh, 
This man just told me to go get a chocobo. He said it was some sort of emergency. I hope he'll be alright. Chocobos! <laughs> They're running! Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. One thirty p.m. in time. You're sleepy too. <laughs> time to take a nap. theater really quick and see. You saw a car with a license plate Chocobo yesterday, and you rolled down your window and sang the theme as loud as you could as you drove by. Did they sing back? When they pushed the horn, did it go... <laughs> did it go... Wart? Did it say quay? They didn't hear you as you sing. I was wondering if the the horn would go work. <laughs> this vessel of the hunt is really interesting. I heard there are traditional festival to hunt dishes. Do you know where they serve them? Oh, there are so many brave, powerful men here for the festival. <laughs> the thump. It finally ended, eh? I never liked the festival. It's too violent. When someone yells from another car, at you, <laughs> Nani? You're driving, you couldn't really look. Good, yes, pay attention to the road. The vessel was great, huh? I was cheering so hard, I completely forgot about the painting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nani? she's waiting for. Um, I guess we can't go in there. I think that man said northeast. Well, I know it looks like a forest. Business and industrial districts confused about which is which in terms of their layout. I'll find out as soon as I walk down here. Okay. 
Did I go into the industrial one? I don't think so. No, talk with him. This was amazing. I've never seen anything like that. Monsters stampeding all over town. I can't wait to tell my kids back home. A lot of stuff gets damaged during the festival, well with the monsters running around and all. It's such a pain repairing everything afterwards. You were awesome! You kicked some major butt! Grandma's been busy selling her pickles lately. Don't give me no attention. Oh, I'm sorry. We're all out of dark stew. <laughs> this place has really nice music. Guess that was everything. Alright folks, we're gonna call it here for the evening, a little bit earlier than usual because I am feeling a, a little bit sleepy, but I want to say thank you all for joining me today. I hope you had a lot of fun. When we come back for more Final Fantasy IX on the weekend, we will be picking up, um, out of Lindblom here, we need to go chase after Garnet. Um, I think I might want to try to go to the forest and see if I can find the chocobos first, because I want to see if I can do things out of order, but we'll try that and, and see what's up. I am going to be doing a collaboration with Uresan and Sorasan. Let me show you the little promo here. Uresan made this really pretty artwork. We're going to be doing a collaboration on um, a little bit later on in the week. Uh, so on Friday at 4.30 p.m. PST or 9.30 a.m. on December 16th, Saturday, uh, we will be doing um, Operator Side together. That will be, um, again, 4.30 p.m. PST on December 15th and at 9.30 a.m. JST on December 16th. So. Same day, just uh, different time zones. <laughs> but we're going to be playing a really cool game. It's one of my favorites. It's called Operator Side in Japanese. You may also know it as Lifeline in English. But um, yeah, 
One of my favorite games, and the operator side is entirely in Japanese, it's played with our voices. So Sora-san and Uri-san are going to be playing with me for their first time, and we'll, we'll see if we can guide Ryo, the blonde individual in the middle there, through the scary space station. <laughs> I hope that you'll join us for that again on Friday. Thursday, we'll be coming back with some more Dragon Quest monsters, the Dark Prince, and we'll see if we can get some more monsters. So, to recap, on Thursday, Dragon Quest Monsters The Dark Prince. On Friday, a special collaboration with Uri-san and Sora-san uh, on Operator side. And on the weekend, more Final Fantasy IX. But yes, I hope you all will join us for a fun time. It'll be really, really fun. <laughs> if you want a good night or good day for me, feel free to say so in chat, and I will say so to you. But I think I know who I'm going to go raid right into. Let me just make sure they're still on. <laughs> Thank you, Meow Mix. Good night, Meow Mix. Good night, Cabal. <laughs> they got the sleepy herbs. The sleepy herbs. Wee! <laughs> Good night, Pudding. Good night, Uno. Good night, Chi. Good night, Soda. Good night, Tiger. Otsukari sama deshita. Arigatou gozaimasu. Slayer, thank you. Good night, Slayer. Good night, Davy. Kwee! <laughs> Good night, Matthew. Chocobo treasure hunts. Yeah, hopefully we'll find them. Good night, Mirgi. Thanks for hanging out. Goblin, thanks for hanging out. Good night. Itadashai. Oyasumi. Ure-san, arigatou gozaimasu. Oyasumi. Ashi-san, pachi pachi, arigatou gozaimasu, oyasumi. Kamu-san, cheer cheer, oyasumi. J.A., dino dance, dino dance. Good night, J.A. Yeah, lifeline! <laughs> We're gonna play lifeline. It's your birthday! We can sing happy birthday to you, Gamu-san. Well, I can sing, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if um uh, I, I'll go to Sora-san and Uri-san, but I'm sure we won't mind saying happy birthday. <laughs> you know this game, yeah, it's one of my favorites. Good night, Lynx. Oyasumi Gamu-san. Lifeline is actually a good game, but the voice recognition is a little wonky. You're so excited. Yeah, I really like it. I um, I think Lifeline's a good indicator about <laughs> how people deal with um, uh, challenging situations like that. Good night, Cerulean. Good night, Cerulean. Good night, Michael. Good night, Soda. Sleep well. Uri-san, Otsukari-san, Madeshita, Arigatou gozaimasu! Thank you for drawing the artwork again, thank you! Otsu, Otsu, something eels, Oyasumi! Mm -hmm. Good night, Zio! Yo, yo! Mm -hmm. Oyasumi, Slayer! Oyasumi! Good night, One True! Alright, I wanna see, um, I think they're still going, so let's go over here. Doodle. Mm -hmm. Let me just make sure that um, the person I want to go raid right into is still on. I'm sure they are. There they are. Alrighty. send the love over to Sora-san. Again, she's going to be collabing reading with Uri-san and me. Um, and if you don't know Sora-san, she is an android in Japan who's very, very kind as well as funny. She has a lot of fun uh, chat commands you can interact with her with 
You can check in her about section on the panels. There's a lot of fun chat commands. And um, she can speak English, Japanese, and French. And she's playing some Exit 8 right now. <laughs> it's um, it's really fun to, to hang out with Sora san. So I hope you'll join me in in saying um, uh, in saying these words, these words that she has put in the channel, <laughs> in the chat. But yes, let's go wish Sora san some good luck as she plays through Exit 8. It says Sora loves <laughs> Sora loves number zero by Ude. Okay, <laughs> number zero Zeto. <laughs> All right, let's do it. As always, whether it's nighttime or daytime or what have you, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and we'll see you soon. For now, I hope you join me in <laughs> sharing Sora's favorite number with her. All righty, Minasan, Matane. See you all later. Itadashai, take care.